necessities come by way of reciprocity. I'm chewing the bones of my own. Death be my dignity. Execute hemlock philosophy. Poison fill the cup of the carpenter. The last time you so costly. No reason for grieving. Hello chat, it is I, my name is Stanley557, and welcome back to another amazing, epic Call of Duty Zombies live stream. And today, we are going to be looking at, and ranking, again, because I've done this before, every single Zombies map, because my opinions change, we've had Shinonuma and the Archon to add to this, and I like to go through the very interesting idea that my perspective on maps changes as I play them and as I don't play them. So, anyways, I do thank everyone for coming out to watch. Nearly three parts of the way to the sleep stream. Yeah, that's scary right there. That, that right there is really scary. So, anyways, I want to say hi to everyone here. We have Remixer, we have Agonized Yeti, Loveless, Hidden Name, T Zeros, DBK, WK9. We then have the Jack Pack, Trav, Charles, Mini Fusion, Josh, Babies for Life, Rex, Jaden, Brayden. We have Rick Tom's Revenge. Uh, who else do we got here? We have Never Phased. We have Hooded. We have Tav Hamstick. We have Gorgory. We have Orlando. Oh my gosh, so many people here. Welcome everyone. We have the Game Master. We have LRNR. Been a long time. Well, welcome to the stream. I'm glad you're excited to see it. We then have Skelly Boy, Uncle Beans, Lucy. We then have LOL, Stinky moves hi everyone welcome to the stream so um before we start um i do just want to thank all the members here because um part of becoming a member is that you get thanked for your very very generous support and i do massively appreciate that so thank you so much for being a member and if you're not a member um just watch the channel that's all you have to do to be a member um or my fault to support me all you have to do is just watch if you'd like I'll to support me in other ways become a member it means a lot but just watching is also really nice of you too Hi, Zemi Colin. Welcome. Oh my gosh, Kane, thank you so much for the 557 pound Van Goated game. Guys, are we Van Goated? Yes or no? Hi, Jaden. Hello. No sarcasm? No, I'm serious. Like, I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much, everyone, for supporting. I'm your favorite Thomas YouTuber. Thank you. Okay. So, to thank the members real quick, we have... So, the people who became members before the membership came, we have um, Noodle, Nikki G, and Angelo, and Scout with a name. 
thank you all for becoming members. And for those of you who were gifted members and who are continuing to be members, we have Tato Salad, Jeepus Creepus, Agarized Yeti, Tanyo, Tiger Bait, Remixer, Cam, Texas, Mr. High, Amateur, Meme Guy, Mouse Man, Curb, Lucky Fox, No Name, Cheese Supreme, Lou Blue, The Game Master, DBK, WK9, One Blue Speed, Red Lobster 67, Totally Not Slime, Lemon Friend, Nicholas Zambima, um, Zimba, Rodri Plays, Neil Smith, Haven, Loveless, Stinky Weasel Tits, Mod, Wyatt Mills, Awesome Aaron, 06, I lost the place because it just randomly jumped back up. Heisenberger, Trash Boat, K Klaus, Blitz Reaper. Thank you all for becoming members. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. It does mean a lot. Thank you. That's a lot of members. Speedrunning names. Well, there are a lot of names, so I do appreciate it. <laughs> Stanley, I'm on the fence about buying Shaolin, and Radioactive Thing, and Beast from Beyond. Are those maps worth it? Did you like Spaceland and Rave? If you did, that's great. If you didn't, wouldn't recommend it, but cool. <laughs> hey, um, Yuri X, thank you so much for subscribing. Appreciate it. Hi, J Man. Map? We're not doing a map. We're doing a map tier list today. Can it stop being loud? There we go. Okay. Found a way to do wrecking without explosive touch, and now I love the wrecking even more. Oh, that's so sad. Is there gonna be gameplay in this stream? Hi, Wayne. Um, probably not. We're gonna be ranking them today. Usually we do do gameplay. Usually we do Easter eggs, but today, no Easter eggs. How's my day? It's going good, Jaden. How's your day? Put that in S tier so I can be happy. No. I'll let you brain bash. Cool. Appreciate it. Let's cut to the chase. Firebase Z number one. Uh-huh. Yeah. La ladies and gentlemen of the chat, we have, let me zoom in actually. We have a ton. Oh, I know what I can do to make this better. Hold up. Let me unlock that. Hi, Tanya, welcome. Perfect, okay. Anyways, chat, appreciate it. Beast from Yawn, bad, bad map. This really is a change, choose tier list. Chat, if you're a member, you get special emotes. One of those emotes being change shoes from the hit popular stream, the 12 hour live stream extravaganza where chat tortures me with change shoes. So if you want to become a member, you can use the change shoes emote. Hi, um, Ohio resident, welcome. Cause I know how much you guys love change shoes apparently. <laughs> okay, so. We do have a lot of maps to pick from. Um, the way, let's go over the rankings real quick. How we're gonna just like how we're gonna talk about this. So basically, the way this is gonna work is is that we have uh, multiple different sections to pick from. We have the top five maps. We have A for amazing. We have C for we have B for good idea. These are maps that I think are good maps, but they're just good maps, and that's about it. They're nothing special. We then have C for okay maps. D for bad execution, which is a map that was made with a decent idea in mind, but it's not executed very well, unlike a good idea map. E for awful and F for painful. Template, oh yeah, the template's in the um, pin post, or it's also in the Discord, if you go to the um, invite. With the extinction maps are here, I thought they weren't zombies. I decide to include extinction and survival maps, so why not? Add extra stuff, you know, why not? Pokemon music is one thing, but good taste it is another. You have both. Well, thank you. But I just decided why not to do that. I feel like it's just why not. They're part of the series. I can still rank them. Alpha Omega is back execution. Alpha Omega is just not a good map. But who cares? Also, someone else came. I missed their name. Hi, Sheens. How are you? Welcome. And um, um, Domini. Um, Domini, I think is how you say it. I don't know how to pronounce your name. I've arrived. Well, welcome. Survival, like MW3, yes. Okay, Nova Bombers make me quiver. Nova Bombers just suck. Can we make the Archon? No. All right, chat. We're gonna start with the best map of all time. Nocturne and Toten, World at War. So, as you all know, with Nocturne and Toten, this is the very definition of a good idea map. You can't disrespect the classics. We love having knocked as a map. It's the only reason why we're allowed to even have zombies in the first place. Does it have a whole lot to it? No, especially the original knocked. But I'd be remiss not to put it up here as the beginner of everything. And by the way, again, if you want to go to the pinned post above, 
And I promise you, you can do this. And you can join along at home. Noct is the goat? It is. I used to be a Noctator, especially the original. Are all the Opric regions on here? No. I'm a little picky, and by picky, lazy. Um, we have like turned here, but we have like normal town, unlike Grief. And we have all of Outbreak slumped into one. That's kind of like one experience. It's a little hard to decide. Hi, Skelly Boy. Hi, Dark Fade. Welcome. Knocked his mid. That's okay. Round one sucks and the map is goaded. Yeah, round one does suck a lot. Giving knocked free pass for starting zombies. You gotta give transit free points for adding parts. No, that's different. Can I post my own tier list in the Discord? Sure, why not? Brother War Noct definitely has novelty to it, especially with these different not zombie noises. Yeah, absolutely. Just being the first of its kind. Then there's Verrucked. Verrucked is a... It's an okay map. This is where we're going to actually ranking them for realsies because Verrucked... God, do I just not like original Verrucked? It's clunky. It's closed up. It's a very difficult map to actually play. So, if you ask me... Verrucked, not one of my favorite maps. It has a really unique mechanic about splitting up the map in two. It's a really good co-op experience. It's a lot of fun with friends, especially working your way towards power. But original Verrucked, and I, in my opinion, it's Verrucked in general. Ugh, yikes. Hi, Mumu, welcome. Put Voyage in its own tier if you love it so much. You don't think I won't do that? We rank in maps now. Hi, Rodri, welcome. Where you place Knock means you um, need to place every map with Knock there as well. I'm not, I'm not using the excuse to play Transit up there. How does good idea tier work? Are you saying that those maps, that the map isn't good, but the idea was? No. Um, that's kind of what bad execution is. That's a good idea, but bad execution. Good idea just means that it's a good map. Some maps just have good ideas and they work really well. Might not be the best way to describe it, actually. Maybe not good idea, just good. Yeah, that might be a better way to do it. But then definitely D is just a bad execution. Hi, Del Brigadier, welcome. Oh, whoa, they should, they should at least be at the same tier. I don't know. I feel like um, if they are going to be the same tier, then I would put Knock down here. Just okay. But I do want to give it like special points just for being the first one. Shout out to the near 50 viewers. Welcome everyone to the stream. Appreciate it. Because you're not wrong. They should be on the same tier because I might put it down here then. Most of us have a good idea. So that's a good way to put it. Yeah. Verrucked is too, diff it's too difficult to compare with Knocked. Yeah. Special points is not fair. You guys know the only map that gets special points is Knocked, right? We can also just not give it special points. If I'm um, yes, I'm gonna showcase um everyone's tier list, don't worry. Knock gets brownie points, yeah. Nothing else does. Okay, then we have Shinonuma. Shinonuma. Also, especially the original. I don't want to say it's a good map, because it has a lot of really good features on it. It introduces some really unique mechanics. It's also the map with one of the best high rounds. It's definitely better than Knocked. But I'm not gonna say it's um a good map either. Especially when we have comparisons to how far we've come. Because, like, I'm kind of ranking a lot of these Ignoring Extinction based off of, like, where they are and then what comes after them. Because, technically, every Zombies map is... It's an amazing map. They all play very well, besides barring a few. We're kind of comparing them all on the same timeline. Hi, Kara. Welcome. We're ranking them in order. Bro, it's going to be eight years till we reach the end of the night. Yeah, so strap in. Actually, you know what? Good point. Chat, I'm going to close my eyes. And someone say a map, okay? Out of this whole selection. And then I will rank the next map. I'll rank that as the next map, okay? So, go. I'll give you all, like, 12 seconds to put something down. First person I see, that's the map I'm picking. Really? The one I saw was the Archon? Oh, my God. Okay. I saw the Archon. I'm not kidding. That was actually the first thing I saw. Okay. Okay. The Archon. Okay, so here's the thing with the Archon. We have a map that has, it's not even bad execution, it's just, it's a remake of a map we just got in the game itself. The boss fight's really cool. And I really enjoy the boss fight. I really do. I think it's a fun time, but this would've been the end of the stream if we can rank them in order. Yeah, for real. So, Crackhead map. It's just like, I feel bad because I don't want to rank it low because it's very obviously like, a result of time constraints, but I'm going to put it in awful. It's not the worst map of the bunch, but it's definitely not very good either. Can I put it in D tier? No. Hi, Zemi Colon. Welcome. Bottom of D tier? No. 
Maybe I'll have a change of heart halfway through stream. <laughs> you misspelled Nuketown? How could I forget? Hey, I'm sorry, all the Archon lovers in chat, your game's not Van Goated. Okay, next map. I'm gonna close my eyes again. Someone pick the next map out of this whole list. Say what map you want to get ranked next. It's comparable to GTA Definitive Edition. That's not a bad way to put it. Okay. Gonna give it a second to roll in. Okay, I saw Mob of the Dead. Okay, first of all, you can't use red circles to make your message pop out more. That's cheating. Yeah, keep putting red circles. You know what? Just for that, I'm redoing it. I'm gonna... Don't put red circles. I'm gonna look again. That's cheating. Too poppy. Call the Dead by Blocks Trot BT. Okay, so... What was it? Call the Dead? Yeah. Call the Dead. Okay, so... <laughs> Man, Chad's going nuts. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Beast, there you go. Shanley, where do I put the tier list in Discord? You can DM me the tier list if you'd like. My DMs are always open. At least they should be. All right, Call of the Dead. What an absolutely great map. I love Call of the Dead. Call of the Dead is so much fun. So, for example, we've got the introduction of the George mechanic. We have, isn't that the first map with like two, un like two brand new unique wonder weapons? Should be, right? Yeah. Because the ray gun was introduced on Noct, and then after that, everything is like the ray gun plus something else. This is the first map to introduce two unique wonder weapons. It's a very big map. We've got our all first celebrity cast, which is really cool. They do a really good job utilizing them all. And I think George is such an interesting mechanic that hasn't been replicated ever since. Is it really an introduction to the mechanic if it's the only time it's appeared? It's a good point. I can say introduce the idea of boss zombies, even if it's not the same way it's implemented later. Has a W Easter egg song? True. VR11 injected crack, but no, it had to be a call. I mean, yeah, for real. It's like tomorrow changes his mind on one map. We have to do this all again? Pretty much, yeah. Guys, we're going to do this tier list every day. I love the three repeat voice lines. That's a really bad feature, but that's a good point. I'm going to die of lung cancer. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. More novelty points because it's got George Romero. It, again, it's really unique. It's got moving pack a punch. It's got a really cool setup process. It's actually difficult. And it's also the only map to have no round 100 to done on it. Oh, that's a good point too. Also the first solo Easter egg. The second Easter egg of all time. Actually third, I guess if you count, Samantha says. But the second actual main quest and the first one to be done solo. Call that it deserves love. It does. It's a great map. Every day he plays a map, his ranking changes slightly. Yeah, pretty much. But does it have director's cut? It has a director on it, so I'm gonna say it does. Okay, chat. Next. Let's pick your maps. I will not be looking. But yeah, no, call it dead. I love that map. I just wish the scavenger was infinite damage. It's a real shame it isn't. Oh, also, it's got a great perk selection too. Okay. Hey, what did I say about using red dots? All right, next map, the Frozen Dawn. Thank you, Kara. Okay. Next up, everyone's favorite, World War II's Wonder Weapon Building Simulator, the Frozen Dawn. I'd like to think this is a pretty easy place to put it, which is at D tier for bad execution. It's got a really good idea. It's got a lot of really interesting lore. Um, they aren't using red dots. What are they using? Am I crazy? Red circles, eh, whatever. Let's go curse map. I think Frozen Dawn is a really good idea for a map. It's got this ancient like cultic society full of cannibals. You've got like a God King. It's covered in blood. It's got like weapons of like an ancient war. It's really cool in concept, but not a lot is done with the Thulean society. The wonder weapons are difficult and very obtuse to upgrade. They're not a lot of fun. Um, the Easter egg is about two steps and Let's see. I feel like it's an experience that you can get better from most of IW's or um, World War II's catalog. The other maps just do it better. It's such a dark map though. That's kind of its point though. It doesn't really do a whole lot with that theming. I feel like it does like, it, it overblows its own theming and it doesn't really feel like it does a whole lot with it. Can you do, can you undo that? No lobster, shut up. Isn't that one with the hammer? It is. 
<laughs> we live in a society. I'm sorry, World War II lovers. Now, wait till we get to, like, the other, like, two maps, okay? I love those maps. But yeah, God King boss fight. Uh, I actually timed him out. Oh, you timed him out? <laughs> oh, I see. No, you have to wait five minutes for that. Hi, Chino. Welcome. I got one of your mail stuff. Uh, thanks. I don't know what that means. Frozen Dawn is boring. That's a good way to put it. It's boring. It doesn't have a whole lot going on conceptually. And a lot of its content is based around those wonder weapons. Like, once you build them, that's about it. How are we sending tier list? Chat, you can DM me the tier list on Discord. How come I didn't get timed out? Um, because Lobster is messed up. My chats ain't being seen at all. Let me see Loveless. Um, yeah, that's weird. Maybe I know why. Let me try this. Let's see if that gets to work. All right, we'll try it now. Apparently, Brenners really aren't a fan of the Hurricane Upgrade Tesla gun. No, yeah, right? God King is funny, though. Wah, wah. <laughs> Boo, wah. My issue with the God King is the boss fight's clunky. It's not as fun as everyone says it is. Also, he's a bullet sponge, and it's really boring. Especially if you want to do it right. Okay. Chat. Next map. Please send them in. And I will be like, wow, that's a really cool pick. I'll give it, like, five seconds. But yeah, no, Frozen Dawn. Um, it's cool that you can, like, throw yourself off a cliff, but that's about it. And some of the Wonder Weapon concepts are really unique. Like, having a flail that can turn zombies, that's a good idea. Having a hammer that you can actually throw, super unique. Shield, doesn't protect you on the back, though. Okay. Okay, home team. Shadows of evil okay yeah guys stop posting big circles to get me looking at your message i will purposely ignore your message okay so next map shadows of evil where is it the big list there it is all right shadows believe it or not shadows is a map i've gone back and forth on a lot more recently shadows used to be my number one map then it used to be part of the top five now Believe it or what, people spamming their maps might be a flawed system. That happens. I will try to ignore people who spam their maps. Hi, Doge Fox. Welcome. BO4 tutorial map should be up here. Sure. Hot take, it's B tier. Honestly, it's not as top tier as I think anymore. One of my biggest issues with it is, is that like, that I've started to come way more around to, is that like, one, um, let me think. One, Shadows Evil. Um, where's Prologue? It actually is down here. Right here. This is this is the Grossen House Prologue. This is the Grossen House Survival. So, with Shadows of Evil, uh, where's Riot? I don't want to hear it. Real hot take it, C. Okay, I will crush you with bag of chips if you ever speak to me like that again. <laughs> yeah, okay. I hate any map I can't beat solo. That's one issue. Thank you, New York City Sewer Rat. Number two, um, it's not very friendly, which is really annoying. Three, yeah, enemy variety gets much in the close quarters map. Yeah, I agree. It's, um, it doesn't play as well over time, which is a little weird because I feel like it was really fun to play back in the day, but it's a little too hectic. The enemy variety clashes a little too much. The theming and music is top tier. The gameplay is still really fun. And I think the um, beast mode mechanic is better than Afterlife, but I'm not sure if I can call it a top five map anymore because whenever I play it, I start to think to myself, hmm. You know, do I really think this is top five? And I don't think so anymore. Hi, Golden La um, Lamau. Not nah, Shadow's top five. It used to be my top five. But I'm not sure if I can say that anymore. At least you can beat the parts that count. That's true. Damn you, my thank you, Hooded. Margo spawned too much. Yeah, you're right with the atmosphere and music. I agree. I think we all agree. The atmosphere, the music, the characters, the actual presentation of Shadows is still some of their best. Hey, it's your list. Exactly. Hi, Mark. Welcome. But at the end of the day, I don't think I can call it top five. So moving on. All right, chat. Pick for me the next map you want me to go for. While I think about stuff like, oh, right, has a train. It's got the sword. Swords are really cool, but completely, they just don't work half the time. And also, um, they suck. Has the Apoth Conservant. Overpowered. Why is the upgrade just not in the game? That makes no sense to me. All right. What do I see first? Also, uh, I must request, don't spam the same map like 12 times. I'm just going to ignore it. Oh, Carrier! Okay, now I do have um, a special guest who would like to say a few words about Carrier. 
So, Kara, if you would just join me in mod chat real quick. Um, because for those who don't know, Kara is our resident exo zombies lover. And it is one of her favorite games of all time. So, Kara, if you are ready and you'd like to join the mod chat, give, give a few words about Carrier. Arguably, one of exo zombies best maps. If you ask me, it's B tier. I feel like it fits the flow of the game the best. It's fun. It's great. It's fast paced. Carrier's painfully obnoxious. Solid two out of 10. I wouldn't say so. I think it's a great map. B. Top five map carrier. Definitely not top five. Hello, um, Sumi, um, Su Sumigi. <laughs> Welcome. Haven't played it. I'd recommend it. Still, it's the game's probably best map. And that's not saying a whole lot. Bakara. Welcome to the stream. If you'd like to say a few words. Okay, so I consider Carrier a very top tier map. Not as good as Descent. I like Descent more, but I like Carrier. You know, I'm already a fan of the insanity of Exo Zombies, and I like, you know, most people bitch about the Atlas Strike team, but I think it's an interesting like add on to the gameplay because how many times do you get to fight actual like humans and zombies? That's something new. I agree. I also like the limbo. The limbo's a lot of fun too. The actual map. And the little um, I can't remember what uh yeah, the the laser gun. Yeah. I think it's a lot of that. fun. And the little cart thing that goes around. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Alright, well thank you, Carl, yeah. for sharing. We'll have you back on in a bit when we get to the other um exo maps. Yes, this is my first appearance, so <laughs> hello, everyone. All right, bye. I'll be in chat. I'll be modding you all. Yeah, guys, be, be wary. Bye. bye. All right, why was it I allowed to defend um, Archon? Because Kara has requested multiple times to be on stream. And I'd be remiss not to let her on, especially for Exos. Limbo's cool. EMZ still suck. I agree. Hi, Nikki G. Welcome. Her mic is very loud. Thank you for telling me. I'll make sure to turn that down next time. Wonderfully stated. Very valid point. <laughs> we can all work together to say dead of the night. Um, so he looks for the next map. Uh huh. Sure. Car is hunting chat for support. Yeah. But no. Um, can I come on to sing the praises of Duris? No. Descent the ocean is the only ocean map. Um, you've never played Voyage of Despair. Okay. Guys, chat. Can we get a Voyage of Despair, please? But no. I'm a big fan of Carrier though. I really feel like the map design lends well to the actual. Um, exo movement and i feel like the enemy variety isn't a pain in the butt when you're actually able to train in some of the maps only big areas so i think carrier great map b tier zombies in spaceland put some respect on on my man's name uh-huh now for the big question the mega stream could copyright it nikki g it did not which is really good <laughs> when do we get a sky map soon all right next map chat pick for me what I have to do next. <laughs> Voyage doesn't exist. Guys, the Titanic, it's sunk. It doesn't exist anymore. Oh yeah, let me put some water. What map do we rank next? Five, okay. All right, five is another Black Ops 1 map that I absolutely adore. I think it's solid. It's fun to play. It's got... Actually, this was the first technically celebrity cast that I think about it. Um, I really enjoy the Pentagon Thief as a mechanic. I think it's a lot of fun. Love it just for the characters. The characters are probably the weakest part for me. C at best. I think it's a B tier map. I really feel like alongside Call of the Dead, it's difficulty and level curve is what makes it more replayable than something like Kino. And that's what I like a lot about it. You're not going to be able to win at it every single time. And even training in some of the map's most consistent strategies is still very difficult. Playing with friends is fun and rewarding, especially when you're able to hunker down and hold down the elevators or any of the camping strats. The problem with five is it's, it's, there's, it's too small. BS that adds up. I wouldn't say there's a lot. I think there's a lot of cool mechanics about it. Like I love being able to jump through the windows on the bottom floor. I think the Pentagon Thief and Bonfire Sales are really unique mechanics. Like just an enemy who can steal your weapons. That's really cool. And extremely unique. It isn't celebrities. It's a dead dude, a dead dude, a dead dude, and an impeached individual. Hmm. When you put it like that. Is Nixon still alive? No way. Hot take it like the Winter's Hell, even though it sucks. Uh, yeah, I think the Winter's Hell is the weakest point about that map. It's got the first map to have buildables. 
It's a cool map, but not super replayable solo. I think it's difficult is what makes it replayable solo. I really feel like it's actually achievable to go for a high round. Unlike some of the other BL1 maps. If I was very charming, would I want to play instead of Kino? That's understandable. The multiple modes of transportation around the map, so fantastic teleporters for quick survival and elevators for strategic travel. Yeah, I like it's I like a lot of its risk versus reward features. Now Nixon's dead? Cool. Okay. Impeach uh, in, in individual a double down. Okay. But no, I like the idea that the teleporters will not consistently take you to where you need to go, but the elevators will, but they take longer, which is a really interesting design choice. But no, um, I like five a lot. I'm going to put it, maybe you're right. Maybe it should be in C tier. Yeah. Carrier two. Carrier for C tier. Okay. All of them are. Okay. Fun chaos. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Hi, show out CM. Welcome. Five is also my second or third favorite map in BO1, tied with Moon, with Call of the Dead being number one. Nice. High C for five? Yeah, I think we can agree on that. High C for five. It's definitely better than Carrier. <laughs> I called it. Hey, okay, I'm, I'm thinking here, okay? All right, what's next, chat? Send me the next maps I need to rank. Also, it's really cool that, like, some of the only traps are on the top floor, which is arguably the most cramped part of the map. Now, granted, it makes it really hard to play, so. All right, let me look away. Dead of the night, okay. Thank you again, Cheese. I'm also not trying to pick anyone out. I just I just go for the words. I'm not looking at names. Okay. All right, Dead of the Night. Hot take, I think Dead of the Night is still, like, next to Alpha Omega, one of my least favorite maps in BO4. I don't think it's a bad map by any means. I really don't. In my opinion, I think it's just, it's execution. It just feels flawed to me. I absolutely adore the map's fidelity, its design, and its look. But what I don't like, I don't think a wonder weapon saves a map, which is what a lot of people sing its praises about. It's got a really good wonder weapon, but I don't like the characters. I don't like the actual design of the map. The layout is not a lot of fun. It's very cramped. You can't train very well on it. And while I do enjoy its setup process, its setup process is a lot like Shadows, which is what I flack the map for. It's just not fun. It's so much busy work for no reason. It's a fun egg. You are capping me if you think that egg is fun. So is five. It's a good point. Five's layout is cramped to hell. I feel like five works though. It doesn't work for Dead of the Night. I didn't say Dead of the Night's cramped. Dead of the Night doesn't have training or, like, some real nice corridors. It plays this half-and-half half game. The area I think about the most is, like, the center hall. The center hall is just, it's just so not fun to play. I don't like the enemy variety. I don't really enjoy what they're going for, and it doesn't really use the trials very well, which is something I flack Voyage for, too. You can camp. No, that, that's, pretty, that's pretty much it. Camping's, like, the main point of the map. It's not the way I like to play. Dead Night feels like someone gives you a chore list to do a 9 to 5 job. S tier for the Uwu werewolves. God, does that sentence hurt. The one weapon compliments the camping strats. It does. That's fair. So then, do I put it in C? Because it's definitely better than some of these maps. All right, I'll put it in C. I'll put it in high C. I love the enemies. There's big daddy werewolves. Thanks, Nikki G. Is it a good map to run in? To run around in? I don't like... I don't like running around that map. It's not fun to actually like train in. L tier streamer, I've been subbing. Thanks. The jet gun isn't bad. You're not using it right. I know how to use a jet engine. It explodes. <laughs> Find someone who's so boring down of the night. It's just not the type of map that I like play and I feel compelled to like, oh yeah, this is a top tier. I don't like training anyways. I do. That's my issue with it. <laughs> what the dog doing map? I think the attention to detail and effort put into Dead of the Night could bump it to a B. That's fair. I feel like I'd put it in a B if I liked the characters more, which I definitely don't. <laughs> Hi, Lucio. The Archon is awful. This contradicts your previous tweets. I'm so sorry. Maybe it's me, but setup is simple once you understand it. I mean, that's all map stuff. I can't really say that about, like, Dead of the Night and then turn around and be like, Shaolin has a bad setup. Because I know all the setups. It's all about how a setup is done. What about the egg, though? It's genuinely so good. 
I don't like the scratch mark steps. I don't like the, the light puzzle, even if it's easy to do. Um, what else? I don't like the night step. I think it's super boring. I, don't, I like the trials. The trials are fun. But the entirety of, like, the first tablet, I hate. I don't like building the Wonder Weapon. Wonder Weapon is just super boring to build. My opinion, people on would like Dead of Night Morpho is actually marketed. I don't think marketing has anything to do with the map. I feel like it's been out way longer for that to not matter anymore. I mean, you look at Attack of the Radioactive thing. That map wasn't marketed either. And people have a lot of opinions on that map, so... And the thing with Ancient Evil. Ancient Evil came out right after that map. Sure, it got a marketing train, but I don't really feel like that's going to affect a map's love or hate. In the early run, yeah. In the long run, no. We're very far removed. Hey now, welcome. Burger Town, debate ended. Thank you. How did turn on this map so hard? Yeah, for real. Changing my opinion on maps not allowed. Yeah, I know. I built the ultimate sin. Yeah. Hi, Shot. Welcome. Dead of the Night marketed itself by being goaded? Exactly. Where do we send the tier list in? Chat, you can DM me the tier list on Discord. Join the Discord in the link below. What map are you ranking? We're looking at Dead of the Night. I think it's such a C tier map. It's just mid to me. It's really nothing more than that. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I feel like it's it's got so many things that it does right, but so many more things that it does wrong that I just don't enjoy actually playing it. All right. Next map. You can't really see what's on the right here. Um, does that work? No. I got an idea. You can kind of see on the right. It doesn't really matter. You've got... Yeah. You've got so many mid maps over here. Okay. Next map, chat. Down survival. Too late. I looked at that. Sally, I remember. I should be able to force you to put Dead of the Night higher. Oh. Oh, and I think about that. Guys, Dead of the Night's S tier. Obviously. Chat said so. Also, what am I... There we go. I'll say it's lagging. Okay. Mr. Beast from Beyond. Hi, Magic. Welcome. Review a tier list of viewers between... Wait. Review a tier list of viewers between maps. No. Because how many tier lists do we have now? How many How many, how many things have people sent in? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. <laughs> Foreskin. All right. What did I look at? Foreskin? All right. We'll, we'll play Forsaken. Tier maker doesn't work for me, but it, but if it did, Dead of the Night's top two. Okay. Minecraft Zombies custom map 83. Uh-huh. All right, Forsaken. One of the penultimate maps in Cold War. And by golly, is it just so... It exists. Forsaken kind of devolves into the sum of its parts. It's got a big section of enemies. It's got... A very complicated map design. It's very ambitious for what it's trying to do. It's built off of the backs of a campaign map. I don't want to say it's bad execution because it's really not. The arcade games are fun. It isn't. It's got an amazing wonder weapon, but I also can't really say that that brings up the map after what I said about that other night. I really enjoy Zykov as a villain. I enjoy the story of Forsaken. You should do a custom zombies map tier list. I don't play enough custom maps in general, sadly. Very low C. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> OMG, Cold War Zombies falls asleep. I feel like Cold War's got, like, a big variety of, like, quality. You've got, like, D-Machina and Mauer up here. You've got, like, Firebase and Forsaken down here. And the Outbreak's kind of, like, in the middle. For the 263 that was allotted for the map, it's pretty alright. Yeah, that's that's a big issue with it. It's not a bad map. But it, it most definitely feels money constraints way more than any of the other maps. It does have a lot of really good side eggs, though. Yeah, I agree. You've got the Perkaholic side Easter egg. You've got all three of the arcade machines. Can I raise this, actually? Let me try that. There. All right, whatever. Okay. Thick outbreak. Outcake. I don't... I really didn't want to see that today. They spent their two cents very well. I think they did. I love the map's round one intro sequence. And I really feel like, I'm like, you know, I'm putting it, this is my tier list. What am I doing? I can put it wherever I want. What am I doing? Okay, my bad execution, I don't think, I don't think these are all bad executions. I can just put it wherever I want. I forgot, this is my tier list. I think Forsaken's fun. What am I doing? Here I am, like, telling Chad where to, where to put maps. <laughs> I can put these wherever I want. 
That means space will only be high, if not higher. Oh, space one's really high. I like space one a lot. All right. Mad man, listen to the people. Yeah, huh? Sure. All right. What's next on the list, chat? What is the next map to pick? Let me think. What else is on Forsaken? I like Samantha's conclusion. It's fun. Even the Samantha herself isn't really a very well-developed character. The Richtofen reveal is really annoying, and I don't like it. Okay. Transit. Wow, that's the one I see? Okay. Okay, Transit. I really feel like, you know, if there's any map that should technically belong in the bad execution tier, it's Transit. Here, I'll get rid of that. There we go. Okay. You know, no, I can say mid, not bad. Mid. Mid is worse than okay at this point. F or I'm leaving? It's, it's F. I think we can all agree on that. <laughs> Dead of the night, wait a second. No, I'm putting it down here. This is my tier list thing over there. I kind of forgot. It's how much do I want to play these maps? That's the whole reason why this tier list exists. What did I say about legal Samantha? I said she's not a very well compelling character. I think we can all agree. Put transit higher. I'm not listening um, to a single one of you that wants me to put transit in anything higher than F. I want to I want to see some arguments ladies and gentlemen. What are arguments for transit? Transit is more playable than the Archon that is a legit cap. Hi Golem. Welcome transit as Ted transit Okay, but transit is fun at 12 a.m. On the weekend with the boys. I don't get that argument Are you saying that zombies is not fun with friends? Fun chaotic co-op what fun chaotic co-op? Is it just like waiting for the bus to leave? It has Misty. Okay. Fun and compelling new characters. We know we're lying there. I hate transit. Yeah. Transit is fun solo too, is it? Hi, Cygnus. Welcome. First infinite ammo wonder weapon. That's not taking it very far. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's It brought double tap two in the shield. Okay. Has zombies. Ooh, good point. I put transit in D. It's fun because of how bad it is. I don't get that appeal. That's why, like, the Archons and Awful, too. They're not fun because of how bad they are. I don't really get that appeal to a map. Dying to lava while your friends are a constant in a way? Yeah, exactly. Like, what am I... Am I supposed to be, like, huddled up to my friends the entire game on a map as big as Vit? It really feels like a waste of, like, of space because of that. You can't be too far away from your friends because you need to get revived. Nah, it's when the bus leaves when when... Wait, it's when the bus leaves, when all the boys are alone, y'all are so sleep deprived you can't stop laughing. I don't know, like, I feel like I get the appeal of that, but at the same time, I don't really feel like that's why I play trans, especially not now. So bad it's good works with stuff like books and movies, not so much core gameplay. Yeah, especially for not, like, for a thing that I actually have to play. When you have Galvan Knuckles, transporting through the fog is way more fun. It is, but that shouldn't be a requirement to travel through the fog. The only thing Transit is going for it, in my opinion, was that it was the first stuff in a long time for buildables were introduced, but that's a BO2 compliment than Transit one. Exactly. Anything could have filled in that. When sleep deprived, anything is funny. Yeah, exactly. Any zombies map could be fun at 12 a.m. Hi, Noodle. Have a good one. The fog constantly rolls in. Hold on. Hi, Mr. High. That's a good point. Guys, the fog's rolling in. Transit's S. Obviously. So my list, it was nice knowing everyone. Cool. When I'm drunk enough, I can enjoy transit. Exactly. It's like you have to do all these like things just to make transit fun. It's the worst solo. I think it's just the worst experience they've made. Next to like a few other flawed ones. Avogadro in transit scares the heck out of me. He does make weird noises. I have a killer time playing it, playing any map at 3 a.m. with the boys. Yeah, exactly. Any map is fun with friends at 3 a.m. I'd rather have fun with friends on a good map. Exactly, Lobster. Thank you. Transit could be so could be um is far from the worst, but it's disappointing. I mean, like if I don't put Transit down here, what's worse than Transit? Because I don't really get what could be worse than a map that where you sit there and you do nothing for the first ten rounds, and then you go around the map, you build stuff, and then you do nothing till like round thirty, and then you just leave the game. It has such a bad loop. Diarize? Okay, that's fair. Infection and Beast. Diarize is worse. Any Vanguard map? Okay, these are all good picks, by the way. For, like, what's worse than that. It has EMPs and a revolutionary pap quest. I know, right? My favorite part is when it closes. 
I gotta judge maps by how much fun I have on the map, not how much fun I have with friends. Exactly. Because I feel like if you have fun with friends, every map's S tier because of that. Tombstone Jingle. Uh huh. Transit has content, Vanguard doesn't. That's a very fair point. But I feel like Vanguard has the advantage of just playing decently. Now, granted, Duran Fong and Terra Maldicta are going down here. No doubt about it. <laughs> Deja vu. Hi, Yippie. Welcome. If Beast didn't have Mephistopheles, it would be the worst. It, yeah, exactly. Beast would be absolutely bomb the barrel without him. Infection, you can't use half the map. Beast, early game. Um, and late game are unplayable. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> when I played on PS3 for the longest time, which means I didn't have many zombies games to play, especially when I didn't have the DLC and I didn't even want to play Transit. True. Hi, cool zombies player. Let's do all of green one. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> no, you don't understand. It came out in 2012. It's automatically better than most modern maps. Yeah, true. That's why it's an um, F tier. It sucks. That's a good point. Though. Let's do the rest of green one. All right. Bus Depot. You know what? It, it's literally just knocked with lava, which technically makes it worse than normal knocked. But it technically has training, so I don't know how much worse it could be. F tier because it isn't paid DLC. Oh, true. Why didn't I think of that? Okay. Farm. Farm is just like, in my opinion, farm is better than Verruckt. Farm is a lot of fun. It's got a decent training area. It's got all four minutes. It's got double tap two on it, which is a really big advantage. It's got, it's fun with, um, I almost said fun with friends. It's a fun map to play. It's got a cramped corridors. It's not a bad map to play. You can get to about round 25 on it. And you know what? That's about good enough for me. Farm D's. Are you tired of seeing these yet? Balls. Yeah. I hate farm so much. I don't blame you. Farm gamers rhyme up. Farm gamers. You're getting no higher than a D tier, but it's better than being an F tier. I'll tell you that. And then there's Town. Town is essentially just Die Rise, but watered down. It's got none of the features of Die Rise, but it's also not a bad map either to play. It's fun. You get to it, you can get set up pretty well. If there wasn't lava on the map, it would probably play even better. Us farm gamers will take it, sure. The farm fan of his dying. Guys, like if you're a farmer. Bus Depot has a 1% chance to get Mark II. That doesn't shock me. Town is Dyrus, but watered down. What are you smoking? Dyrus, sorry. Dyrus, sorry. It's a watered down Dyrus. My mistake, not Dyrus. Guys, chat. Town is Dyrus. How dare I put town in C? I was going to put it in D, so. Purely on innovation and experimentation, transit shouldn't be an F. And it's my tier list. It's not fun. Guess what? They could add a billion things into the map, and I'd be like, wow, <laughs> they experimented by adding garbage. Is Dyrus without Dyrus? Yeah. <laughs> Town is the funny Chinese map? No. They has bad innovation experimentation? Exactly. Like, people flack BO4 for having bad experimentation and innovation. So, chat, does that automatically mean that, like, B like would you all say, then, that, like, BO4 should be S tier because it experiments enough? Because that's what Transit does. Is that the same? Yes. Okay. Well, I do agree. No. Town is boring. That's understandable. I feel like that's why I can't really go any higher than C. It's fun. You can get set up on it. It's a good time, but that's about it. It's objectively nothing better than C. Wish we had more mini maps like town. I agree. I think it'd be really good for player variety. I think people would like it a lot. Voyage doesn't exist. Why is it on here? Uh, who knows? It just magically reappeared itself. Okay. Chat, we have all the maps on screen now. What is the next map to be picked? Tell me right now. Transit should be D tier because at least they tried. They tried on every map. Do, does everything not belong? Does nothing belong down here? Okay. I'll look over. Nine? Okay. Nine. Now, okay, this is like our first S tier, okay? I love nine. Also, while I'm at it, I'm gonna try something. Should I do this? Should I like do this for um the map picks? Like whoever gets picked will be like, that's who gets to pick the next map. Cause I feel like we can do that. It's not a bad idea, right? Archon should be F tier. 
I don't really feel like Arkrin is anything wrong though, specifically. Yeah? Okay, cool. Do it? Okay. Let me just get the other one back up. Wrong one. Where's the other one? Here it is. Let me just roll it. Okay, Agonized Yeti. Um, you'll pick the next map, okay? There we go. Cool. Okay. Anyways, um, I love the thumbnail. Thank you. Appreciate it, Zombie Vendetta. Okay. Anyways, nine. Perfect map. Love the map. Love the Easter egg. Wonder Weapon is garbage. It's got a great map design. It's got, it's a lot of fun to do. Nine's only flaw, some of the Easter egg steps. Yeah. Some of the steps are really bad. But at the same time, I think it's a great map. It's a lot of fun to play. Thumbnails are always clean. Glad you like them. Thank you. I said we should use this five years ago. I'm so mad. My channel wasn't up five years ago. Okay. I don't know who you're talking to. Archon makes me feel nothing. At least I feel something with transit. Really? I don't know. I, I don't really feel like I get the same vitriolic hate that I get for like transit. I do from the Archon. Nine's only flaws not being 11. Hmm. <laughs> Not as goofy, not as cool, but man, the one up and suck. The enemy types are way too much. I like the enemy variety. I feel like it works because of the way the map's designed. It's very open. It's a lot of fun to play. It always rewards you with fire cells to keep re-rolling your weaponry. It does BO4 systems some of the best, honestly. So yeah, I think 9's S tier. It really is. It is like one of my second favorite maps of all time. I really can't think of how many games, like out of every game of nine I have, have had, I can't really think of a single one where I've had a bad time. It's flow is one of the best. Absolutely. Great for camo grinding. Yes. Okay, that should be good. Yeah, whatever. Just have to keep doing this. Oh, Zinnia's theme so good. Okay. Attack, um, but I kind of can I join a call and make a defense. No, nine characters suck. They do suck. the The nine crew is not very fun. The chaos crew is not very fun on nine. I think only Diego is. The only issue with nine is that the fact that um, that overall Beaufort's guns kind of suck, other than the Helion. I feel like that makes it work though. It makes the specialist more fun to use. Beaufort guns are boring. That's a different issue though, but I do agree with that. Who likes chaos? This guy. I love chaos. Why do you think this map's in number five? I love the map. Nine is a better intro than Shadows by far. Yeah, I agree. It has more my like, mystery, like mystery to it. It makes it more fun to get engaged in the chaos storyline. Most kick-ass theme for a very uneventful fight. I mean, that's kind of more like a gameplay decision, but the setting is a lot of fun. It's super unique. It's great. It really feels like you're actually in a Coliseum. It's a really cool location. I feel like they went all out on it. So I'm gonna keep nine, like number two map of all time. Nine is great, but Shadows looks better and has a better atmosphere. I feel like that's subjective though. I like Shadows atmosphere, but I think nines is more fun to me personally. I like actually hearing the crowd cheer for me. That's really cool. Oh, you meant Zinnia. Oh, Zinnia's theme? Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> I hate the chronological order of the map release. Yeah, they can't really change that. Blame the actors, not not the developers. Nine's biggest flaw is giving me hope for uh, BO4. Uh huh. Nine should have had melee weapons. I agree. That would have been really cool if they did that. But no, I think Nine has a better atmosphere than Shadows. Even if I think Shadows' atmosphere is also unparalleled. <laughs> Walter White should be on here, sure. I'm not blaming the, devel the actors or the developers. Well, they're, the actors are the reason why Dead of the Night didn't release with BO4. BO4 was supposed to get Voyage and Dead of the Night as their launch maps. But because they couldn't get the actors in, they made nine before. Nine's memorable Easter egg if you've done it once. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's very memorable. <laughs> nine should have had Killer Bean. Was that the actor's fault? According to Jason Mondell, it was. At the very least, just scheduling issues, so. Technically, yes. Technically, no. Imagine if Dead of the Night was a launch map. Yeah, that would've been really bad. 
I think nine does work better as a launch map, but Dead of the Night works better canonically. Imagine if nine was DLC, BO4 wouldn't dead on release. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, chat. Next map. Hit me with it. What do we got? I feel like nine was over the top too. Um, was was too over the top for me. I think that's what works about it, is the fact that it's so over the top, but I can understand not liking it. It can kind of be like, how do we get from here with knocked to nine? Like, that's crazy to go from those two. Like, this is in the same franchise. Also, um, oh, I did. Right. Hey, <laughs> Yeti, I know you said attack. We'll hold up to it in a second. I did see Drizendrock, though. Okay, Drizendrock. I feel like it's pretty easy to say that Drizendrock's a top five map. I feel like the setting's really cool. It's very unique. The character storyline really works well. Unlike the rest of BO3's overarching story, the actual self-contained story that it tells is really good. I've been scammed. Yeah, I know. Mid? I can understand to call it mid. I thought, I thought we were doing randomized giveaway thing. Can you imagine if I told you I forgot because my brain works like a peanut? <laughs> Kevin Smith map. Uh-huh. Voidbow gamers rise up. What's 9 plus 11? Oh my gosh, 21. I play DE too much to enjoy it anymore. It's the same every time. That's fair. But I really feel like the bows give it a lot of replay value. I feel like they give you a lot of different avenues to play. The map design is very solid. All the areas flow in between one another very well. The Easter egg's a lot of fun, albeit a little too weak, especially compared to what they come out with later. But I do feel like it deserves its place up here. I feel like it's very contrarian to try and be like, oh, well, Derizen Drock's not very good because everyone loves it. I don't know. I feel like it's a good map for a reason. It's a lot of fun to play. Wolf Bow is better Thunder Gun, is it? I messed up my own joke. Yeah, good job, dummy. I feel like DE is so perfect that it's boring, if that makes sense. I get that. But I also feel like a lot of people have played DE a lot. Dragon Dark is the best Easter egg map, but a uh, best Easter egg, but a mid survive map. Yeah, a lot of it does devolve into bows, but I feel like that spectacle of the bows really does carry it. D makes me sad. For a whole summer, I would run a duo speed run with one friend, and one day he just vanished. Wow. Dragon Dark is the best. Yeah. Hmm. I can understand where all people are coming from. I do feel like it is worthy of top spot though. If not top five, at the very least top like six. But let's see what we get. Funny change, choose map. All right. Next up is Attack of the Radioactive Thing. Now, believe it or not, I've come around to Attack a lot more in recent times. I'm not a Wonder Weapon guy. High C, fair point. Subway Sandwich, uh-huh. B tier C. Here's the thing. Um, I used to think Attack was like an E or a D map. I think it's a very high to mid C. I find it a lot more fun than when I originally rated it. Let's see. We've got some cool buildables. We got a, I'm gonna say interesting location that doesn't really carry it a whole lot. We've got a really cool set piece in the actual Krog. We pretty much have a mess of an Easter egg. There's a pretty interesting wonder weapon that interacts with the map very well. Um, what else? I can think about the map. I think it plays a lot better than I give it credit for. Elvira is pretty much wasted. Um, we have a great map. I can't say anything yet. We have a great perk, and that's true. Okay, guys, we have chain shoes. If you remember, spam the chain shoes emote. There it is. Attacking people is rock so F tier. Yeah. I like the 50s aesthetic. I think it's a cool aesthetic. They don't really do a whole lot with it. I really feel like the main thing that carries the actual gameplay is the buildables. The buildables are really unique and cool. I think that there's some interesting interactions that you can get with the Krogs, and the fact that you have two unique melee weapons that interact with a lot of the map differently is really cool. But I really feel like it, what I thought was like an E tier map, it's definitely more of a C tier. It's an okay map, and the Krog route is not too bad to fight. Attack the Reactive Thing is reverse Noj456. There's zero saturation, uh-huh. Little Willy is um is so funny, even the 845th time. Yeah, wait till you get to 846. It's S, shut up, lobster. Elvira's hot. Hey guys, because Elvira is on this map, she's hot, we're gonna put it in S tier. Attack of the radio thing gave me Krogs, uh-huh. 
We can't have attack above Dead of the Night. I'll cry. Honestly, I don't know what, what I would rather play more. Let me think about that for a second. What do I want? What would I rather play more? Dead of the Night or Attack? Hmm. What do I legitimately think is a better map? What is chat think? Who is messaging me? Attack is less set up than Dead of the Night. That's fair. Both gate, both um, good me caveman. Uh huh. Like if you're a Krogger, guys. Krogger's in the chat. Dead easy. Hmm. Wait till you hear it five hundred seventy-seven times. Yeah. Because you move dead in the light up and that's all that matters. Hey, I can move it back down just as easily. Don't tempt me. Hmm. Because these are both maps. I think it's dead of the night. I really feel like the aesthetics of dead of the night carry it more than the gameplay of attack. I wish it, I wish attack had four one weapon instead of rave. Okay. IW characters aren't as annoying as dead characters. Okay. Hello there. Yeah, please just just leave my chat. Bye. Gotta pull up some master manipulation taxes to move dead of the night out to the top. Uh huh. Hear me out. I would rather do a chemistry type than attack boss fight than scratch marks and wolf fight. No, 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 no. I would much rather do the scratch marks. So I'm definitely putting dead of the night on top. The dead of the night characters are annoying. I think they're both annoying. I'd rather take dead of the night's characters though. Attack would be B if it had a better layout. I like the layout. I think it's fine. It's got way too many doors though. I wish we had a sequel to IW. It would be so bad. That's my favorite song in zombies or of all time. All right, who's next? Rodri, what is your map pick, good sir? It's got the best trash travel of IW. Eh. I wonder, I wonder what Paul Rubens was doing in that theater the whole time. Waiting. Uh, let's go Blood of the Dead. You got it, buddy. All right, Blood of the Dead. Another map that I thought was I was very contentious on for the longest time. I definitely think it's a good map. I think it's an okay map. But I really feel like it's bogged down by a lot of things. One, we've got a very, very poor map design. Two, we have a storyline that just kind of retcons in the premise characters. Three, it's not very fun. Four, the Magma Gat's pretty cool. Five, it's just mid. Six, Brutus doesn't do a whole lot. Seven, the Easter Egg is awful. Blood is mob, but better. I used to think it was. I think I do like mob more. Blood, if you don't compare it to mob, I think it's great. I don't know. I feel like the side quests really do carry it. It's got a lot to do on the map. and has a lot of content. But I genuinely feel like it's hurt so much by its map design. It does way too much, and it's not fun to traverse. There's not a good enough fast travel system around the map. Blood is casual mob. That's true. Blood just spits in mob's face. I don't think it spits in the face. It does a lot of the homages very well to mob. I love the soundtrack, and I love the theming of the map. And I wouldn't say it's a, it's a shit in the face to mob. Not in the slightest. Warden's name is Archibald. Yeah, I heard about that recently. The Easter egg is so awful. I think most people can agree the Easter egg is pretty bad. <laughs> Al, we would like blood. 50% of the Easter egg is following an invisible bird. Yeah. I love how blood's the ultimate challenge for Easter egg players. I don't think that's a very high praise, though. The problem is when half of blood is, like, blocked off to people just because of the bird step, that's not very fun. The bird step is what causes most people to never, like, finish the Easter egg. What's my favorite song in general? I don't think I have one. I don't know. <laughs> Archibald like pro ZD. I think that enemy got the point. Oh, wow, well, cool, Archibald. Where's Riot from AW? Shut up. Blood is better because it's a seagull. Uh-huh, okay. Find GK Easter egg harder than blood? I don't think that's true. At least not, I don't think so. I mean, like the golden shiv. Yeah. Blood, um, blood is story theme and everything that's not gameplay. I agree. That's a good way to put it. 
Block can be fun if you're not going for the Easter egg. I think so, but the map design just kills it, even in casual play. Like, my friend brings up a good point. You can disregard the entire front of the map once you pretty much get, like, the brew perk. That's all you need. You never go back there. Unless you need to get the Magma Gat, Pack-a-Punch, or the Brew Perk. There's not a whole lot incentivizing you to bring, go to that location. Ancient Evil copy this map. They both have birds. Uh-huh. Yeah, true. Terra Maldicta had the hardest Easter egg. Yeah, because I don't want to play it. It's birds that have to do Morse code, the Simon says, and the god-awful hard but miserable. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. High round strategies are there. That's a good point. OMG, in blood, they let the bird out of the cage. Dancing, walking, rearranging furniture. Babs is shopping. I let the bird out of the cage. SMH, not even ranking tier list. Uh huh, yeah, yeah, I know, right? Bull of the Dead was such a good map, they made a ripoff called Blood of the or Mob of the Dead. Yeah, uh huh. The Frozen Dawn had birds in it. Oh my goodness, why didn't I think about that? Bird tier. For B, obviously. The docs for the Redeemer feels untested. Oh my goodness, it's so bad. I hate going for the Redeemer. It's so annoying. Especially if, especially if you have Winter's Whale. Alright, yippee. You're picking the next map, Buckaroonie. Hi, Lily. Diarize S tier. Diarize is like F tier. Kino? Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, best map of all time. Uh, Keener to Toten, Black Ops 1. All right, Keener. I think we can just easily say this is the perfect C tier map. Great, fun to play, easy to pick up, not a whole lot of setup. Keener to Toten. Is this like the number one map of all time? No, not in the slightest. I think it's C. It's a good map. And it's really nothing more than this. It really isn't. Kino is a worse Ascension. Ascension's contentious. We'll get to Ascension later. Kino, it's a C tier. It's a great map. It's a lot of fun. But that's about it. I can't really say it does a whole lot more than that. It's not amazing anymore, but it's also not awful. Not in the slightest. It's not anything. It has really no bad flaws. It's not anywhere worse than any of these maps. Like, for example, Blood is lower than it because Blood has some great theming, does a lot of unique stuff, tries really hard to be a full experience, but it falls short and has a lot of negatives. Kino doesn't really have a whole lot of negatives. Kino has a great atmosphere and is very new friendly. That's a good way to put it. If anything, um, does fundamentally less than, than um, Doris. I think it does fundamentally less, but I'm also not rating maps based off what they introduce. Because again, if we go with that, then Transit's like S tier, Kino is F tier. But that's not really how we rate these maps. Not, at least that's not how I want to do it. Kino is just a stupid, bad map. How dare you. Kino offered nothing new, and as an Easter egg lover and gimmick lover, I can't get into it. That's fair. But I feel like you also got to look at it to what it is in the series compared to, like, what other maps introduced compared to what ma maps don't introduce. Like, Blood has a ton of content, but does that make that content good? No. Kino doesn't have a whole lot of content to it, but what it does do is just having solid zombies design. What do you mean negatives? The alleyway such meteorite room part of that map sucks. I've seen a lot of people use that for high round strats. It's very good in terms of, of keeping very fast spawn areas. Kino has the fun rock song, so good. Yeah, huh? Simple but effective. Exactly, yeah. Kino's iconic. It deserves respect for what it did to the franchise. I don't really care about iconicism. I care more about, is it fun? I think Kino's fun. That's about it. Okay. Next map. Ladies and gentlemen, what are we picking? All right, Lucio Radio. What do you got, buddy? Hit me with it. You know, if Nightbot would want to tell people that they haven't picked, that'd be great too. Hi, Puffs, welcome. Show Transit some love? No. Give me a good enough argument and I'll move Transit. I have yet to hear a good argument. Besides, it's fun with friends. Are you telling me not a single one of these maps is fun with friends? A single one of these is not fun with friends? I'll wait. 
Then why is Knock up there if you don't care about being iconic? Um, if I... Eh, that's true. Hmm. Do I care about that then? Hmm. Because then does Knock go down here? No. Definitely not the original. <laughs> I'm sending you to Nightfall? Joyous. All right, now the extinction maps are gonna write completely differently. Are these maps fun? These have nothing to do with zombies. I just think that they're cool and should still be included part of the catalog. Um, Nightfall, great map, love it. It's got a fun boss fight. Like for example, guys, don't really, who don't really think about where these maps go in the list. Just just pretend they're based off something else. Nightfall, fun map. Um, love Nightfall, great. It's got a cool wonder weapon, very difficult. Got a cool boss and mini boss fight sections. It has some really good extinction design. Actually leads up to enemies really well. Teaches you how to use new mechanics and also is just a lot of fun. Nightfall's a good map. Nightfall's a solid sequel. I think it's honestly the best um, extinction map. I really do. I think it's a lot of fun. Extinction is fun, but no pause button. Eh, you can just kill everything and then you'll be fine. Transit is an enjoyable and large sandbox with a slightly fun Easter egg, but a fairly long and annoying setup. That is not going to change my mind. Damn, I changed his, damn, I changed his opinion. That means transit fans have a chance. True. <laughs> is that beast from beyond? Yeah. Day rise. Nightfall is ballin'. I think Nightfall is a great map. It really is. I really feel like what helps is the difficulty spike because it actually feels like a natural progression of gameplay. To the point where, like, at the end, they make you fight just to get to the boss fight, which is really cool. Wasn't Nightfall the first to have buildables? Uh, yeah, no, that was um, Mayday. Yeah, Mayday. Nightfall's the best El Hugony song. He has a he has a Nightfall song. No way. Let me check this out. Chat, we're derailing the stream for a second. He has a Nightfall the Musical. Oh my God, he does. Wait, oh wait, wait, didn't we look at this before? Yeah, we looked at Exodus, right, he did make these. Oh, they're re-uploads too. Oh, that's crazy, he took them down. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, anyways. Dark Horse by Katy Perry, okay, cool. I'm not listening to it, don't worry, we're not listening to it. Can we watch it? No. He has one for all extinction, cool. Breaking news, Xbox has officially acquired Activision Blizzard. Wow, cool, appreciate it. Remember when you used Dalek gameplay on Blood of the, uh, for Blood Musical? Yeah. Just Game Black, how is Nightfall A? Um, for Extinction, I really want an opportunity to, to rate these maps. The only issue is, I'm not really gonna get an opportunity to do that because there's only five of them. So I'm kind of lumping them into like, to like with the zombie stuff. Don't really think about them a whole lot. They're just there because I want to rank them. Read last, please. No. Transit wasn't the first map to introduce buildables. Yeah, that was five. We talked about this. Nightfall 2 coming soon. Um, That's actually Beast from Beyond. Duh. He did a song for FNAF 3. Oh, don't we know it. What makes a map S tier? S tiers are like personal maps that I think are great. Maybe DE might not be an S tier anymore, but I don't know what 9 is. Top five extinction maps. Number one, Beast from Beyond. Noah J looking at his own videos to see what the map is. Yeah, that's really sad. Where's the zombies map where you play as Anakin Skywalker and fight the horde of younglings? I wouldn't want that. <laughs> well, uh, uh. All right, Kara. What map do you want to rank? I already feel like I know what you're gonna say, so I'll just be waiting in mod chat. I'll also turn Kara down too, so. I've never played Extinction so easy, eh? Extinction's a lot of fun. I can't recommend it enough if you haven't played it yet. Descent? All right, Kara. We'll rate Descent. Or my fault, you said decent. Where's Descent? All right, Descent. All right, Descent is definitely not better than Carrier. In fact, I really do feel like the map design really hurts the map. I think it's a really cool location. The Oz boss fight's really cool. The Easter egg sucks. Descent's S tier, no joke. You're not about to call Descent S tier. Oh, Mr. Stanley 557. Welcome back, Kara. 
Okay, so. Descent is decent. Yeah. Where are you going to rank this? Where am I going to rank it? Yeah. Where would you rank this on this list? It's it's S tier. S tier? Okay, well, I'm not ranking it S tier, so. But describe your thoughts while you're at it anyways. Okay, so first, of course, I have to mention this is the first zombie boss as and you don't to get to this boss fight you don't actually have to do anything you don't have to go through some bullshit easter egg to, to, to experience it you can literally just play the map you know what Carl? That that's a really good point i had forgotten about that yeah that's a good point first boss fight no easter egg that's fair i love the aesthetic <laughs> of this map like yeah it it people are like oh it's just another atlas thing but it's a resort it's you know and like i like that's all underwater and you can see fish and stuff as you look out the windows mm -hmm. that's a good point um <laughs> personally don't remember too much about the wonder weapon but i remember being like this thing is kind of trash though so hey but it's got the blunderbuss though which i feel like is the map's true wonder weapon yeah, that that's that's the one where you're like, okay, this is something this I is the can wonder weapon, yeah. Um, and overall, I, I like Oz as a boss. Like, I like his design. Like, how he's a big mutated zombie, and he's a boss that's actually a zombie. That's something we don't get a lot. That's in a zombies. fair point. Most mm -hmm. of them are just monsters. That's fair, actually. I like uh, another thing I can give it. Bruce Campbell. You get to play as Bruce yeah, Campbell. Yeah, Bruce Campbell. Know. Someone's actually asking earlier. Yeah, he does join on Carrier and Descent. I I think the only issue with Bruce Campbell for me is he's so wasted. They don't really give him a whole lot to do, especially in the story with the way he's initially set up. Yeah, he is pretty pointless. Yeah. Limbo should have been the Thunder Gun to the Cell's Ray Gun. That's not bad. That's a fair point. Well, I mean, technically the Limbo. Um, that's on Carrier, though, so. The Easter egg, I don't know too much about because I never... Don't. It, the Easter egg sucks. Either. Don't worry about it. But, yeah. Um, that's pretty much... I, I really like it. Is I have three favorite maps, and that is Moon. Um, now Nine. Nine is on there. And Descent. Okay. Those are my three favorite maps. Cool. All right. Well, Carl, we'll see you back when we get to Infection and Outbreak. See ya. Bye. Okay. Chat. So, we have Descent landing in at the top of mid-tier. And keep in mind, this is the second best Exos map, so it's only downhill from here. If only Bruce Campbell started berating you in the Exos tutorial, it'd be perfect. True. I think Descent's famous catchphrase is Descenting Time. <laughs> what a famous catchphrase. Bro, B at least. You think Descent is better than any of these? I really don't think so. I feel like it's hurt so much by, like, Mob of the Dead. Or hurt by so much by gameplay. And, um, EMPs. What about Riot? Reference Riot one more time. I dare you. Howdy! Origins, Mob of the Dead, SOE is my top three. Thanks, Liam. Appreciate it. Teleport grenades are fun. That's true, but they're also on Carrier, which makes better use of them. We have 54 viewers. Nice. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Appreciate it. Wait until you see my tier list. Yeah, right. I love when Bruce Campbell says, it's time to descend, right before they descend down to hell to kill Oz a second time. Yeah, for real. <laughs> My favorite friend Bruce Campbell says, I'm descending. Hey, when are we ranking Riot? Yeah, okay, buddy, sure. All right, next map. Mr. Hi, what do you got, buddy? Transit deserves justice, does it? I, I still haven't heard a good enough um, rebuttal to Transit yet. I would save my top three, but I'd like to keep my membership. I can't revoke your membership. Funny Kevin Smith map? All right. <laughs> rave? Yeah, okay. All right, guys, we're looking at Rave now. Hey, Stanley, if I were to make a zombies map tier list, would it be fine um, if it is only about maps I've played? Oh, yeah, that's cool. No, you have to rank maps you haven't played. All right, Rave in the Redwoods. Do I think that this map is better than Attack? That's what I'm basically going to base it off of. I really don't think so. Do I hate this more than Attack? I don't remember. 
because it really is contentious. I do, I'm not a very big rave lover. I think the map is really cool. I don't like the level's layout. I don't like the slasher of the boss fight. I think rave mode's really cool. It has the rave. My issue with rave mode is once you get past round 10, the slasher always appears in rave mode. And what I don't like is you can't kill him. So for however long you're in rave mode, it's really hard to like, to actually use the mode. The crossbows are crazy in the traps. I don't like the traps, but I like the crossbows a lot. I come around a lot more of those. You don't like the slasher? I don't like not being able to kill him. That's what I don't like. Because you can't kill him in rave mode as far as I'm aware. Rave doesn't have the devil pack locked behind the Easter egg. That's true. That's very true. Yes, you can kill a slasher with his weapon after being the Easter egg. That's the problem. You have to beat the Easter egg just to kill him, which I don't like. The fact that you can't kill him in normal gameplay. That's what I don't like about it. The slasher was the George mechanic. Oh my, that's actually a good point. Wait, it is the George mechanic. Hold on. But I feel like unlike George, the slasher can do four out of your five hits. He kills you way too quickly. He's not similar to George to the issue. He has different damage values. And those damage values go a really long way to me not liking him. <laughs> you can kill him in rave mode if you know how to if you know how to code and are fueled by five Red Bulls. There you go. I like trans yeah, I like transit because it's cool and in a possum apocalyptic setting. I feel like Die Rise does that better. Hi, Falman, welcome. I just got here and saw nine above SOE and Nightfall just behind it. I am in the wrong timeline. You absolutely are. I love nine. Nine's one of my favorite maps. You have absolutely entered the wrong timeline. Just don't go into rave mode. That's the issue though. A lot of people praise rave based off of its rave mode. My issue is, is that it's not playable past round 10 because of him. That's what I don't like about it. It contradicts itself. What I love about the slasher is the dread of knowing you need to enter rave mode for something, but you don't need to enter rave mode though. Once you like unlock the bows, rave mode is completely useless besides double points. There's not a whole lot left to do in that mode. It'd be better if I W had a, how do I spell zombie touchy hitbox thing? What if it had better hitboxes? Yeah, absolutely. So it's like, Aram, the charms. Do you have to go into rave mode for those? I don't do the charms. The rest of rave is so much fun and genuinely such a fun experience. I just don't like it. It's not my type of map. Stanley, I'm playing rave right for contracts. I got the kennels from the box. The kennels are on rave. Yeah, I know they are. You have to get them from the box though. Hey, Trav, thank you so much for the 199. Here's for being a person. Well, thank you. I love how it didn't even say good person, just a person. Redwoods look stunning. Eh, I wouldn't say stunning. It looks nice in rave mode, but it's just like, I don't like playing in rave mode. What do you mean? You don't want to slide two inches farther with a charm. Yeah, exactly. If I W's a better collision. Yeah. Hi, DS Dork. Welcome. Anyone here about the new Nintendo Direct? Hope there's um, 17 farming sims. Please, guys, I need 17 more farming simulators, please. Not only farming simulators, I need 17 more JRPGs, please. What about the Super Slasher boss fight? That boss fight is so mid because they make him so weak. Rave mode, more like rave mid, exactly. Real question for casuals, no Easter egg um, player is IWC, wait. Real question, for a casual no Easter egg player, is IW season pass worth it? I don't think so. Because the best way IW is played is with director's cut. And you only unlock that after completing all five of the eggs. So no. Remember the interview where he didn't, where Kevin didn't know the name of the game he was in? Kevin was probably high too, so, you know. Boring game somehow hasn't died. <laughs> Fog rolling in. Me personally, IW is one of the greatest casual experiences ever. I don't think it's my, I think Cold War is better for me casual wise. I enjoy the maps, but wouldn't do the Easter eggs. Yeah, exactly. IW has an aesthetic that really bothers me. It's this in between from the old COD look and the new COD look that just comes across as awkward feeling. I don't know. I feel like BO3 comes before IW, but it's all down to art design and they do art design very well. Treyarch does. I feel like IW just isn't as polished with the game engine that they were working with. So everything looks rough around the edges and the lighting doesn't look too good. I feel like BO3 pulls off more visually stunning events than IW, despite IW coming after it. Advanced Warfare looks better. Yeah, like for example, Advanced Warfare looks way better than Infinite Warfare. 
Which is really weird to say. All right, next map. Okay, Zemi Colin, welcome. Zemi Colin, it's Zemi Colin, oh my God. Zemi Colin, welcome. I will say this, slow keys and the whole theater thing is boring. IW would have been better if it was 100% episodic. It, yeah, exactly, episodic, would have worked perfectly. Exodus, all right, Exodus, completely separate from zombies rankings. We're just ranking it because I've always wanted to rank it. Um, Exodus, I don't like Exodus, I think it's really mid. Exodus is not a lot of fun to play. I feel like it's way too difficult for its own good. It ranks up the difficulty way too fast. You get a lot of tools at your disposal, but I don't like the way it plays. And it's very unique, I'll give it that, but I don't really like fighting the ancestors. They're a little too bullet spongy, they don't move around enough, and they do a little too much damage to the player. They do fit perfectly for co-op though, but solo play, they're not as fun to fight against. And again, my biggest issue is, it's just way too difficult of a map. It's definitely the hardest of the five extinction maps, which is really cool, but I don't really feel like it builds up to the difficulty very well. Even if that is kind of the point of the map, it's supposed to be like this last stand. Yeah, exactly. Being the last stand in the Alamo. That's a good point, yeah. If you grab every item before you do the generators, you can wipe out the aliens. Yeah, I know that, yeah. Exozombidus. <laughs> El Opinion. Angela, have you ever played Exodus? I feel like how zombies works. It's shocking they never tried going episodic. Think about how much more freedom. Yeah, I, I, I don't get it either. Why they haven't just gone full up episodic. All right, the next map. All right, Pero, what do you got, buddy? If you're here, hit me with a map. <laughs> Zombies movie, yeah. Better Call Saul. Better Call Saul is not a zombies map, but good try. Hi, Shaw. Welcome. How what are we on? We have a lot of... For some reason, the maps that keep getting picked are mid-maps, so they're all getting C. My fault, sorry, D is mid-tier, but like a lot of okay maps. Do the best map, Infection. All right, Kara, get back in here. While we wait for Kara, I'm going to, um, I'll start the conversation about Infection. Infection is worse than Transit. I really feel like it is. If not worse, I feel like what really like hurts it is just the fact that like you can't play half the map on certain rounds, which is really bad. I don't understand why that's a thing. I don't like being able to play almost the entire map during certain rounds. And honestly, just the fact that like, I think what the problem is, Infection has a really, has a really good first 20 rounds. But I don't really, it's once the, like, once those like infected rounds start coming, and once the like the Nova gas starts coming in the areas, that's when it stops being completely playable in the slightest. Infection has no story, bad map design, the death comps zone is a death trap. I actually like the map design a lot. I just don't like that the fact that you just can't play the map half the time. That's what I don't like about it. What are your thoughts, Kara? Okay, so this is a ExoZombies map I actually don't like. Wow, that's insane. This is one where I, okay, I like the top, kind of. I like where you're able to jump around, but the EMZs ruin that. And the sewers are the sewers, so <laughs> I I okay, I like the alligator trap. I like mm -hmm. Bubby. I and I'm glad he came back in Cold War. Bubby. But you can't use him <laughs> like a Yeah. So Definitely uh, the lowest of the lot. Like I, okay, I like the. Uh, that's something that this map has over Carrier. Where I like the aesthetic of this map. I like you know, fast food restaurant, Burger Town. I like that that aesthetic of it. But it it just it's not it it's not fun. And that's my whole thing with loving Exo Zombies, is having crazy fun. And this kind of ruins it for me. So. Yeah. This one I ain't got too positive on. I agree. Thank you for saying, Carl. Appreciate it. So I would put it in... Because I put it at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Put it with transit. Throw it, throw it down there with that trash. Okay. Well, thank you, Carl. We'll have you on for the last map in a bit. Alrighty. Bye. See you.
<laughs> Actually, I didn't mean to cut her off. Okay, so chat, as we all know, Burger Town is everyone's top favorite map. It's literally, um, it's, as we all know, best map of all time. It, it, it's above everything. How can we forget it? Anyways, back on it goes. To the pits of hell. There we go. Anyways. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Infection's dead. <laughs> Burger Town, guys. Sorry, guys. Burger Town's dead. Took a shower. Hey, Nikki G, welcome back. Nothing too crazy. Okay. Remixer, you're up next. I don't know why Nightbot's not telling. There it is. Okay, cool. <laughs> Chat right now got me in splits. I've got friends like this who say um, only good things about exos and I can't even begin to fathom the evil force that has possessed them. <laughs> yeah. The yellow tape around this burger is, uh, is homicide. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's okay, buddy. Don't feel stressed out. You've only got, like, 40 maps to pick from. Can we get some, like, good or, and or bad maps in here so I can finally stop ranking stuff in C tier? <laughs> do, do, do. Boom, boom, boom. I love how, like, YouTube is telling me, now would be a good time to insert ads. Creators can earn more money by inserting ads the, that more viewers are watching. Give it a try. No. I'm not ready yet, but never mind. I'm gonna say Mauer. Okay. Mauer. I love Mauer or Toten. Mauer might might have actually crept up to an S tier, but I'm not sure about that yet. I'm gonna keep it in A for a bit. Voyage belongs in the C tier. I get it. I'd pay money if you don't do ads. I won't, don't worry. I just like the idea. Like YouTube's like, hey, you should do ads. Hey guys, Mauer sucks. How dare you? Creep in S tier? No. <laughs> thank you, Trav. You don't have to pay me for that, but thank you. I was just making a joke. No ads. Take my money. Well, thank you. My guy right here. Mauer I used to hate, but it grew on me. Now, now D Machine is the worst Cold War map. Okay. Understandable. Yeah. No, I really do. Um, I love Mauer. I think it's great. I like the flow of the map. I love the Easter egg. I love its setting and characters. Even Not if the setting again. isn't used to its most realistic potential. I like the enemy variety. Ignoring the manglers. I think it's fun. Um, it's a great map. All around. Not a whole lot I can say about it. The Cerberus is top tier. The um, the Club Easter Egg's a lot of fun. I love it. I think it's great. Will money change your mind on, this, on transit? No. Don't pay me money to change maps. When I bought Shadow Throne... I, wait, when I bought Shadow Throne, I took it to heart and, and thought what you said about it made me love Mauer even more. Yeah, I agree. I think it's better Shadow Throne. It's not the worst, but coming way better. I love Mauer. I think it's just a great map. Cerberus um, has grown on me lately. Uh-huh, yeah. I think it really would be S tier. I just don't really feel like it's a unique enough location. And it doesn't really lend itself to zombies as much as it should. But I think it's really helped by a lot of the forces on the map. Berlin, ha um, Berlin has the most maps to have that take place in it. True. Rank Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2? No. To use money to make transit higher is if you use that money to buy a tone of alcohol and or weed. I don't know what that means, but cool. Programming a bot to ask about Riot? I will literally be you. Shut up. Mauer is the best Cold War map? That's not saying much. Okay. It's a pretty easy map. Yeah. Does it look even similar to Shadow of the Throne? No, but it's in Berlin. That's all that matters. I don't like the Panzer on Mauer. Good, good other than that. And the Tormentors are kind of mid. Tormentors are really mid. Yeah. Carried by its Wonder Weapon 2. Oh my gosh. The Wonder Weapon on Mauer is so good. Mauer's amazing. Yeah, I agree. Stanley, um, you start behaving this right instant and put Mauer below Shadows of Evil. Hmm. No, I don't think I will. I think Mauer just plays better in all, like, gameplay facets, even in late game. Okay. Show out. What do you got, buddy? What epic map do we pick? Which they pick Mauer's Wonder Weapon and Mauer at some point. Which one do you mean? Like the variants or like <laughs> Mauer Wonder Weapon design? Why are you putting crying emojis? It looks so good. 
Malware is fun. I meant, I, I meant, I mean those trains. I love it to my friends getting run over. Okay, cool. Fire-based Z. All right, chat. Is this a based map or what? Now, see, unlike Mauer, which is an A-tier experience, Firebase Z, honestly, I think it plays very well because it's got Cold War gameplay. But honestly, it's not a very, like, I just don't feel a lot of pull to come back to it. It's probably the most meh zombies map they've ever made. It just doesn't really feel like an actual zombie. Like, it doesn't feel like a zombies map. It feels like, a, it feels like what most people expected, a campaign mission that feels like it has zombies thrown into it. And I really feel like that's like the worst crime that I could possibly have. P Cold War round based gameplay. Again, the gameplay is super solid, but everything else it's like, I don't like the story of it a whole lot. I don't like the characters of it a whole lot. I don't like the wonder weapon. Fire's a meh map. Yeah, I think we can all agree. It's just meh. Should have just had a jungle se segment. Ooh, that's a good point. Yeah, that would've been cool. Like, I feel like it doesn't take advantage of the fact enough that's in, like, Vietnam. Do I really think it's the most meh? I loved it. I know Hooded thinks this is, like, his favorite map of all time, which is great. It doesn't do a whole lot for me, though. I think it's very mid. Spawn is from campaign, but the rest is original. No, I know it is, yeah. But, like, the geometry and the actual art design feels too much like a campaign map. It doesn't feel like a zombies map, if that makes sense. It's one of the very few maps to have this. Is it mirrors the egg kind of slap? I'm not a big fan of its egg either. It's too short, and the one step that's actually difficult is the mimic step, and that's about it. Do not put it above descent. Too bad. I still would rather play it than most of these maps, so. Firebase Z has peck. Guys, any peckers in chat? You just have an L opinion? Angel, I'm not about to accept an L opinion from you of all people. I'm livid about the mimic step F tier. Yeah, huh? The boss fight's so bad. The boss fight's so weak. Honestly, I might put it above Shino Numa because I really do like the Orda fight at round 30 plus. Descent visuals with Firebase Z gameplay would be S tier. Exactly. That would be S tier right there. I just pecked all over the place. Great. You keep that map away from my baby Shaolin. Oh, Shaolin's gonna go so much lower, don't worry. <laughs> don't feel too bad. Okay, the next person to be picked. You should do a one weapons tier list. We actually did one a while back. Okay, Josh. What do you got, buddy? Gotta give credit for, for a great boss round. One of the only boss rounds that actually scares me. I agree, yeah. Wait, didn't Kara talk about how Oz was the only boss fight you didn't need the Easter egg for? Firebase Z? Oh, true! Hi, Wyatt! Kino's in C? It's really nothing better than that. Okay, zombies in Spaceland, you got it. All right, chat. Zombies in Spaceland. Zombies in Spaceland is just a great map. It's fun. It's got really good gameplay. I don't like the characters. I love the introduction of the story. The Wonder Weapons are kind of mid all around. The Easter Egg is not very fun. It's good in some places and it's bad in other places. Um, this is the third map tier list you've done. Very colorful. I agree, it's very colorful. I think it really is just a good map all around. It's one of their best. It's easily IW's best too. They did such a good job making it. A tier, S tier. I don't think it's an S tier. I really could not bring myself to put this over Shadows or DE. But I still love the map, though. Okay, I don't love the introduction of the story because the story is bad. It's a bad story, but, but I like the intro cutscene. The way it's directed, the way it's written is very, like, campy. And that works really well for the game. Positively sailing my Heskel and the Dead repeatedly for this map? Uh-huh. It's a well-rounded, fun, easy A, no further questions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a very casual map, but I think it's confusing layout and long setup, but maybe it's just me with four hours of play time on it. That could be it. DE lacks color. You don't always need full color. It's the way that it's stylized, and DE's art design is really good. Zombies in Spaceland is fun, what I want in zombies. Yeah, exactly. I think it is. It gives players a lot of freedom of what they want to do. 
And that's the first time that's been attempted since the, since the Zelensky trio with Transit Diaries and Buried. Huh. Great, at Basic Zombies, bro, putting DE over Kino. Yeah, uh, easily. DE over Kino, why wouldn't I? Most people would put DE over Kino. DE is just light blue. No, I feel like it's disingenuous with colors. It's got a lot of reds, it's got a lot of yellows. A lot of the different rooms are painted with very different hues. I feel like the outside is blue, but I feel like this is disingenuous to the other parts of the map. Yeah, DE is very colorful, especially with the bows. Forsaken is the closest thing to Zombies in Spaceland in a while, especially due to the arcades, and it's unfortunately not all that good to me. Yeah, I agree. Forsaken is very much like Spaceland. It's a very sandboxy open map. It gives you a ton to do, but Forsaken falls off a lot more by not being as unique. Doesn't have a good, doesn't have as good of a feel or vibe to it, and it doesn't help that it's basically a zombies map placed over a campaign map. Spaceland's a love letter to zombies. They really know their audience with it. Yeah, I agree. I really feel like they, they just didn't know what to do with some of the later maps, and they made a lot more blunders than when they started. Am I gonna put you in the thumbnail? No, Kara. Can't wait to put Outbreak in S tier. Hey, does she wait? All right, next map. All right, Fallman, what do you got? Where the rest of the messages go? I don't know. Why did I pick the crow to be the mascot of my channel? Why not? I love this funky little guy. I love him. He's so cute. I love this guy. Look at him. He is my son. But no, um, it had to do with World War II coming up with the Raven Lords, which is essentially just premise. And the rest is history. Is that a crow? You think this is a crow? This is a raven, good sir. You guys think that this is a crow? To, to, to crow the raven, nevermore. I think Fallman is here. He most definitely is not. If not, he's not listening. He might be tabbed out. Okay, Wyatt. Out of these remaining maps, what do you got, buddy? They called it crow and you responded. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I thought ravens had a purple hood. No. Do you have a Walter White Crow? No. Let's get it out of the way. I gotta hear your take on Mob of the Dead. Oh, he's here. Okay, well, um, all right, Mob of the Dead. All right, well, whatever Wyatt says, we'll do that after him. Don't worry, I'm not skipping him. I'll just cash Wyatt's right after this. Walter White quote, Jesse, we need to cook. Put, I say, put Mob of the Dead in S. Okay, you both want Mob of the Dead, okay. Where's Mob? Okay, Mob of the Dead, it's gonna shock a lot of you to believe, but I think Mob's a good map, it's just B. It's nothing more than that to me. They both say Mob, I guess they both did. <laughs> Don't worry, I saw. Okay, Mob of the Dead, believe it or not, this does not go any higher than B for me. A maps are maps that I absolutely love and adore. B maps are maps that are like, I feel like that they are like, at minimum, Objectively, Mob is a great map. Subjectively, I don't enjoy Mob a whole lot. For me, Mob does not go any higher than B. Most people put Mob in S. I think objectively, it's a great map. Great story, great characters, amazing gameplay, and way it teaches the players. Personally, it's not a very good um, map. I just don't enjoy it. <laughs> I was behind. All good, man. Don't worry about it. Mob Solo is one of the worst maps. I don't think it's the worst in Solo, which is a little boring. <laughs> this is Blasphemy? Yeah, I know. So, I don't know. Uh, Mob's character is the atmosphere. I agree. What I don't like about Mob is the beginning is way too difficult, which is good. But the actual, like, high round end game strat of Mob of the Dead is way too easy for its own good. It's also like the only map where like Electric Cherry is useful besides like the Alpha Omega camping strat. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of Afterlife. I feel like they did it way better later in Shadows. And I don't know. Mob needs at least one friend so you can 1v1. Yeah, exactly. I'm not gonna put it in C, but I'll put it in B. 
B is objectively about as high as I'm going to go with it. If I had to legitimately rank it, I'd just put it at C and leave it at that. But I feel like it doesn't deserve C. It's too good of a map to do that. Why is Lush Cherry still a thing? I don't know, but they did the right thing with Elemental Pop and they just smushed it into that. <laughs> Klaus, go to NBC. He really is. I feel like mobs from the first map in BO2 because of how noob friendly it was. Yeah, right? It saved zombies? Absolutely. Without it, I feel like zombies would be pretty much gone. Besides um, cast mutations, um, the only PvP? Yeah, only PvP. Okay, next map. Okay, Noodle, channel member. Noodle, what do you got, buddy? Did I mention the off-brand chain shoes? I did not. Mob has Ray Liotta and... <laughs> hey, good on Ray Liotta. Great actor, great guy. That's about it, though. Play the mob musical? No. <laughs> Descent is PvP? Not really, no. Also, I think you're thinking Carrier, which is PvE. <laughs> Darkest Shore. Okay. All right, Darkest Shore. Where do I put this? I think I'm going to put Darkest Shore above Dead of the Night. I like Darkest Shore a lot. I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's Easter Egg really carries it because of simply just how difficult it is. It's a fun map to play. It has a very good skill ceiling. The Moichlers are not very well designed gameplay wise. They do a really good job at being some of the only interesting threats in all of zombies. But the only issue is they, one, do way too much damage. Two, they're not very fun to actually fight. Three, you're constantly running from them. And four, they do way too much damage. Huh. But I really do like Darker Shores Easter Egg. It's fun the way that you interact with all the zombies. It makes you actually use the map to its fullest. It's a very interesting location, even if it looks way too drab. The actual color definition is awful, but the art design is really good. And also, I think it's just a fun map. I like camping at pack. I like training in the U-boat room. I don't like the fog mechanic, even if it is fog rolling in. I think Frozen Dawn's better, but the Ripsaw is so cool. Ripsaw is really cool. The map is high-key overhated. I think it really is. Final Reich or Shadow Throne? Play Final Reich. I wish Darker Shores had more content for non-Easter Egg players. That's a big issue. It doesn't do a whole lot outside of the Easter Egg. And that's a really, that's the reason why it's in C. I would probably bump it up to B, but it doesn't leave you with a whole lot to do. Fog map is a very fun map. Atmosphere heavy and also moistures are good enemies. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I love the color gray. I like the part where the dark was sure. Mm. Okay. Next map. Darkest Shore is the best, is it? A lobster! Buddy, what do you want? I think Rave is very underrated. Hi, Ali. Welcome. I'm not personally the biggest fan of Rave. I know a lot of people really like it, but it's not really for me. I think if you're an, an egg player, you can see um, Darkest Shore being B. I think so, too. But I like I, when I really think about it, would I rather play Darkest Shore than all of these maps? I'm not too sure. I'm not too dark as sure. <laughs> Mr. Beast from beyond. All right. Mr. Beast. All right. You want to talk about a map that's just completely awful in every way? Beast from beyond. Easy. Very easy map to pick from. Who is continually texting me? I'm going to snap their neck. Oh, my papa. What are the criteria for choosing, Mr. Stanley? Um, S tier, love this map. A tier, think it's a great map. B tier, also a good map. C tier, it's an okay map. D tier, it's mid. And by mid, it's probably bad. Or just boring. E tier, awful. F tier, just... God, these maps suck. Beast is irredeemable, worse than transit. I really feel like the only part that saves Beast is Mephistopheles. If it didn't have that, it would easily be bottom map of all time. It's conflicting, it has terrible enemy design, it has a terrible opening and late game strategy. What if I like Beast from Beyond? I don't care. <laughs> like whatever you want to like, who cares? It's my tier list. Can be can be fun for a little? Yeah, fun for like five minutes and then you're done. Once like you get to high rounds and special zombies are always spawning, that's not fun. In the early game, the actual cryptids are not fun to fight. The map's early game is more fun in director's cut than it is actually playing it. <laughs> Aram, it's Nightfall. I don't want to hear it. 
it's funny how the Archon is over Beast and it's actually true. Because the Archon's still an actual map. The Archon doesn't start off and try to instantly kill you for the first three rounds with bouncy enemies that instantly kill you. Archon does not do that. Beast does. I miss his blood that I didn't see. My guy, you need to stop BO4 simping right this instant. Oh my gosh, we found the guy who doesn't like BO4. You think that I'm BO4 simping now? Brother, these are the BO4 maps I don't like. Wait till we get to the ones that I do. I will say, um, I would like to purchase the season pass for IW, but because of the quality of the last two maps, I don't want to. Most importantly, Hasselhoff gives easy bounties. He does. I think because of the cryptids are such different enemy types of, of enemies without extinction mechanics, zombies is a three hit system. Yeah, like the cryptids just don't meld well into, zo like, into zombies. They don't. They don't have the proper health scaling. They do way too much damage and they're way too fast. They don't fit well into the game. It really does bring down mob as or beast as an actual experience. Beast does have the worst celebrity. Yeah, it's called nothing. Beast is better than transit. I don't know if it's better or not. That's the issue. I'm absolutely going to leave this up to chat, but I feel like I know what chat's going to say. Chat, what's worse? Beast or transit? Now, keep in mind, what does Beast give you? Director's Cut and Mephistopheles. Keep that in mind when you vote. Which one is legitimately worse? Because I feel like I know what the answer is, but which one do you think is worse? And don't forget, we're voting for the worst one. It's which one you don't like. So read that out before you vote. The cryptids were the celebrity. True. I have no opinion. Okay. <laughs> I love my phone lags. I'm a minute behind stream. Nice. How is Beast winning? Keep in mind, it's which map is worse. That's what you're voting for. I voted wrong. Great. Can't hate it up and change. Choose the yeah, okay. Nah, including Director's Cut and Super Easter Egg. It's just criminal. Okay. Beast doesn't have Rustman. Transit does. Easy. Transit is fun co-op. Beast always sucks the same. You know what? That's fair. Hi, Tim. How are you? Beast because at least Transit has good memes. Okay. Wow, chat has definitely... The chat has spoken. Thank you. We should redo it? No. They both have robots. Okay. Beast alone does not give you director's cut and meth. That's including the collection of things leading up. Okay, fair. Yeah. Beast has no personality. True. Beast is a slasher. You're right. I hate it too now. Does Beast have Misty? Okay. All right, next up. Who's going to pick the next map? Golden Lamau. All right, out of these maps left, which one are we picking? Don't forget, Diner, Gorod, Grossen House, Prolong, and Ancient Evil over here. Beast has a hot Latina. So does the other four maps. Okay, now let's see. What do we have there? Or Dead Ops 1. All right, Dead Ops 1 is complete trash. I'm going to say it. Awful. It's not, okay, it's not awful. It's like mid. It's not fun to play at all, though. Slash around Beast is disgusting. It's so bad. Yeah, I hate Dead Ops 1, though. Dead Ops 1 is just not fun to play on the slightest. It doesn't really compare to Zombies. It's more like, how do I feel about Dead Ops Arcade 1? It's not very fun. Good soundtrack. It is good. It has a great soundtrack, though. Genuinely, L Opinion. Okay, you don't understand. Dead Ops Arcade 3 is down here. Chat, this is the fun one. This is the good Dead Ops. This Dead Ops? <laughs> it sucks. I, I don't like it. Dead Ops overrated. Been playing them since BO1. Yeah, I, I don't think they're fun. I think this is the good one, though. Dead Ops 3, amazing. Dead Ops 1 and 2, suck. They are all good. No, they're not. I don't like Dead Ops 1 and 2. I feel like Dead Ops 1, you can make a better case for. But Dead Ops 2, Dead Ops 2 is just so bad. So many of Dead Ops 2's maps are just tight level design. It's not fun. At least you'll like Dead Ops 3. Dead Ops 3 is so good. It's not even funny. 2 is good. I hate 2. I do not like 2 in the slightest. <laughs> I think Dead Ops sucks. Exactly. Dead Ops is a monkey, though. Not a lot of games can say that. I guess that's true. Dead Ops 2 is worse than 1. It is. Dead Ops Arcade haters. Chat, I, I love Dead Ops 3. I'm on your side. I just don't like original Dead Ops 1 or 2. I played Dead Ops 2 last weekend with my friend. Don't you dare say these things. I will. 
I love how, like, out of everything I've said tonight, this is the map. Like, this is the thing that's going to, like, be contentious with people. I'm stingy with visuals. I can't look past the thrown together visuals of Dead Ops Arcade. I think it's part of his charm. Wow, Stan, I can't believe you hate Dead Ops 3. Yeah, huh, sure. Transit and Origins are a lot alike each other. Josh, that is so far from the truth. Hey, I got a P. Don't pick me to choose the map. You got it, Sheen. Okay. Now that I've gotten that um, basket fire started. Um, next. All right, Golem. All two Dead Ops fans coming out to defend it? Yeah, for real. Golem, what map do we pick next? Bro, it's time for grief and then to discuss boys gotta leave. <laughs> okay, Boro, I think town's better. I don't like the design of Boro. Like, you get the whole underground way, but that's about it. But do I hate it more than some of these maps? Let's see, which one do I know? Which one do I like it more than? I might like it more than Dead Ops 1. Yeah, I'm gonna put it there. Burrow's a lot of fun. My heart, yeah. Never played Grief or Turned. I'm gonna put Grief Burrow here because it's it's just fun. It's fun to be a dirt bag on. I feel like the one that people feel that way about is Cell Block. I hate Cell Block. Turned King, yeah. Huh. You gotta love hiding at the mansion. Oh, true, yeah. Grief is a ten. You can you get shout slurs. What? Dead Ops and Frozen Dawn are not even close. You're right. They have Burrow in between. Burrow, more like bro enough of this. Yeah, uh huh? Sure. Burrow's just buried with the Witch Mansion slash so Mace and Spawn area removed. Yeah, it's a lot of buried. Okay, let's see. Both have fog. Both have something to slow you down. Both have turning a lot of things on. Both have annoying enemies. Both have buildables. Eh, I feel like... Origins does it better. Josh digging the deepest hole. I know for real. <laughs> what is Burrow? Oh, Burrow is the um, it's the it's the grief on buried basically. Turn is one five riddles S tier true. Josh is spitting. We got the we got the origins haters out here. I thought I played every zombie map. It's just grief on buried. That's it. Lava's the same as mud. Both have fog. Both are huge. I feel like it's disingenuous to Buried, though. Or, um, Origins. It's just a skill issue. Yeah. Remember playing Burrow Grief so much in games for, like, half an hour long? It was dreadful. What about Grief on right? Shut up. Okay. Next map. All right, Tim. What do you got, buddy? Also, when we get to Origins, this is gonna—it's gonna be in the exact opposite direction of Transit, okay? Origins. Oh my goodness! Speak of the devil. All right, Origins. All right, Origins. Believe it or not, I used to think this was like absolute S tier. It's fallen off for me a bit over recent years. <laughs> Tim Hansen, you guess Tim? Oh, Bo3. Oh, cool. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for telling me. All right, BO3 Origins. BO3 Origins is so much worse than BO1 for a couple of reasons. It's still not a bad map. It's a great map to, by design. I used to think Origins was S tier. I really did. Then there's BO3 Origins. BO3 Origins, it's just kind of annoying. The mud slows you down a lot more. Stuff is slower. Enemies are more aggressive. You have a shield, which is nice. And the visuals look stunning. BO1, I meant BO3, sorry. <laughs> BO3 Origins is so much better than BO1. <laughs> guys, guys, who remembers the BO1 version of Origins? <laughs> okay. But no, BO3 version, still really good. But it's also, it's not as good. BO3 Origins better than BO2. Graphics are too good. The graphics are really good. But I feel like the gameplay of BO2 works better. <laughs> World of War Origins was better. Uh-huh. Firestep Origins is fun to use, like a volcano. Yeah. The BO3 version is way worse than the BO3 version. Uh huh. Very unpopular opinion, but Origins is a terrible map. It's cramped, dark map with slow mud, terrible setup, and also Panthers too early in the setup. I don't know. 
I really do like it. Didn't, um, didn't Bloom get nerfed? What? <laughs> BO2? Origins wasn't in BO2? I am sorry, you're right. BO2 got that Zoom Hilda, though. That's true. Exo's Origins added to the gameplay. <laughs> <sighs> I think the two-hit system is such a pain on Origins. BO3 system lets you take earlier risk without being punished. I don't know. I think I like BO2s more. What about BO4 Origins? Oh, that's the remake. They call it the Great War map. Origins was in DS. DS Origins. Infinite Origins. Yeah, okay. Origins and Transit have both buildable wonder weapons. I love how you're comparing this as if, like, Origins has bad buildable wonder weapons. The process to build them is bad, like the Jack Gun. But unlike the Jack Gun, they're actually good. Okay. Next map. Okay, Nikki G. What do you got, buddy? Origins the sequel part three, guys. Where's Origins part four? Assassin's Creed Origins. Oh my god. It's Origins. Wow. Ancient Evil. Alright, Ancient Evil. I've come around to Ancient Evil a lot more recently. I used to really dislike Ancient Evil. I used to think it was more of an okay map. Ancient Evil is a lot of fun. <laughs> One of my biggest issues with Ancient Evil is its actual gameplay. I think it's become a lot more fun in recent years. Perfect in all ways except side east strikes. Yeah, has literally none for some reason. <laughs> did you know round 200 has been achieved on mobile Call of the Dead? Yeah, I did here. <laughs> Roblox Origins. Yeah, I agree. I think it's, um, do I think it's an A tier? No, I think there's maps that I personally like more than that. My Origins high round is nine because my friend distracted the Panzer for a round. Wow. <laughs> 144 live stream viewing. Well, thank you for still watching. It's got a goaded Easter egg. I like the Easter egg. I really do not like the, um, the Scepter step. I hate that step so much, especially in solo. It's so needlessly difficult because you don't get a gauntlet. Have I watched Velma? No. When will you stream Roblox Zombies? Eh, soon. Who knows? But I think about it. Michael Zombies. We did it a while ago. and We might do it again. How can we forget Sonic Origins? Oh my gosh, that's, or that's Origins. Wow. I think it's, it's still a great map. Wonder Weapons, great. Storyline, amazing. The actual look of Delphi is amazing. And I really feel like they finally took a big map like Delphi and they shrunk it down to make it good. So it kind of feels like a best of of Greek culture. And they did such a good job. Hey, Stanley, completed the Kevin Smith contract for IW and I got enough salvage to craft the Ripper. Nice. Ancient Evil is a map. I have, play I have 20 minutes played on it and because I got bored and quit. Brother, you gotta hop back in it. Ancient Evil is so good. The tier list makes a lot more sense now that I can't see anything and everything is made up of two pixels. Nice. <laughs> Lesbian kiss, zero out of 10. There was a kiss, zero out of 10. Thanks guys. Okay, next map. But no, love Ancient Evil, great map. Okay, I think it's Brain Bash. Brain Bash, what do you got? I have 20 minutes on this map and that's why it's mid. Yeah, kind of writing it for yourself. I couldn't find the path. I got confused. It is a little difficult to manage. Yeah. Rare issue with the map. Um, Try reviving a friend on it without elixir indicators. Don't always show up if you're in different sections. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The revive indicator. Yeah, really bad. <laughs> cheese cube. Guys, cheese cube? The next Saria video uh, made the map the same. Made the map the same. What do you mean? <laughs> Lesbian kiss, 10 out of 10. Honestly, all the funny maps are ranked. Why are we still here? Shh, don't let them know. We still have Alpha Omega to rank. He said Riot. Guys, I don't have Riot. Also, Riot is literally a cutscene. Pick an actual map. If not, I'm rolling somewhere else. <laughs> it didn't change the map at all? Yeah, exactly. The Tortured Path. All right, cool. All right, we're going to rank the Tortured Path. We're going to rank all three of them at the same time, too. No, it's a map. I don't want to hear it. It is a map. I know it is, but it's like it's the final section of the survival map. 
What's Riot? Riot is the um, survival mode in Advanced Warfare. If you played all the levels and got to the end, you would get the um, exo zombies. Like you get like half a second of one exo zombies level, and that's about it. I'm locking the torture path. Now. All right, the torture path. They're all awful, mainly because they don't play very well. The challenges are not very fun, and not only that, all the maps are too small for their own good. They absolutely suck. It's a mode. We got the maps right here. Don't worry. The Easter egg sucks. Can we take the tier list and add Riot to it later? No. I can't add stuff to the tier list anyways. The ship map is decent. The ship map survival is a lot of fun. Actually, yeah. Cross the sea, fun. The other two? Eh, not really so much. Red herring? Yeah, like the only thing that's saving across the sea is the red herring. That's about it. Besides that, it sucks. You should say torture path is tortured. It really is. How much more? We got like 20% left or 30%. We got a lot to go. We got a lot of bangers left too. Cross the sea is unique and fun. I think it is. Yeah. We're ranking the survival maps too. We do have them on here. So don't worry. They will be ranked later. Okay. Tab. What do you got? Also, the fact that none of these maps have like wonder weapons is really annoying. Nothing a whole lot to do on them, besides, like, actually do the challenges. It's a fun objective-based mode, and what is what Vanguard should have been. I agree, but it's not really what it is, and I also feel like a lot of the challenges are not balanced in solo play whatsoever. Nightmare mode should be on here. It should be. I forgot to put it on here. Also, I haven't played Nightmares. I got Tog. Yo, Tog. Now, that is an amazing map right there. I think Tog would be S tier. It's just a shame that it's like, it's supposed to be like the last Aether map. And there are most definitely is supposed to be at least one more map after it. So it's a shame that we end on the Victus crew of all people. But besides that, map design, amazing. Map flow, amazing. Actual zipline system, amazing. Wonder weapons, they're fun. We got, um, and we got a pretty decent Easter strike. A lot of loose ends are tied up. Again, love the map design. Golden Pap, amazing. I just like Tog. Tog's a lot of fun. It gives players a lot to do. It's a massive sandbox of things that you actually can do in BO4. Got a ton of great side Easter eggs. It's got a ton of cool stuff that you actually do on it. You got a ton of cool rewards. You have the heat pack to make training in the water actually doable. You have like the buildable like, bear, like bundles of dynamite that you can blow stuff up with to make the map cooler. So much fun. It's got Phobos. It's got Phobos on there too. Mars. We got the Mars Easter egg. Hey guys, Tog is on Phobos. Yeah. I feel like Tog over Call of the Dead just feels wrong. No, because Tog is fun. Call of the Dead's fun too. I just personally like Tog more. George here, Romero, respect Easter egg. Yeah, exactly. I just like Tog. It's very confusing for first time players. Oh, absolutely. It's not very player friendly in the slightest. Pablo. Pablo's really cool, too. <laughs> Ted. Ted's not on the map. How dare you? Tog is Rustman, so it's an S+. Plus. Yeah. Okay. Lucky Fox. What map do we got? We got Snowballs. They are really cool. They're 115 Infused Snowballs, I might add. Tog is good, but not as good as Spaceland Shadows. I think it is. I think it's great. It's such a fun map. Subway sandwich. All right, here we go. Shaolin Shuffle. Here's the thing. If the ninjas weren't on this map, it would basically be right alongside its like brothers and sisters. But like, because of those ninjas, holy moly, is it an absolute mess of a gameplay. I'm a Raven software lover. Yeah, uh-huh. That's why I put Exos at like the highest it's been so far C tier. Didn't know one five was yellow. Yeah, uh huh. Tog was the first time I played on BO4 season pass. Redeem the game. It's such a good map. The low poly rat map. I challenge shuffle more like pre 9-11 shuffle. Why would you say that? Second of all, I think the wonder weapons are cool. The chi abilities are cool. I just really dislike high rounds on this map. It makes it impossible to sprint and it's annoying. I genuinely do not like fighting ninja zombies. They are some of the worst designed enemies in all of zombies next to the cryptids on Beast from Beyond. 
Again, if it didn't have them, easy. C tier. But I really feel like it's a low D tier because of that. It is genuinely hurt by high round play. Shallon, Gritty, and I'll say Gritty. Can't believe the developer said, oh, don't run into zombies game. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, but funny rats. The rats are funny. Okay, the Doge Fox. Hit the shuffle. Oh, let's go, let's go. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Aram. Yeah, what do you got, buddy? These are the remaining maps that we have to rank. <laughs> Valid. Yeah, you're welcome. My only problem with Tog is that it's a remake. That's fair. But at the same time, I feel like Tog does way more than most of the other remakes. IW devs looked at us and just said skill issue. Yeah, I, I, I don't get that. <laughs> Moon BO3. I'm a big fan of Moon BO3. In my opinion, coming out of like all of like the Zombie Chronicles maps, Moon BO3 is like the only map that I feel like is improved by Chronicles. Without a doubt. I love Moon BO3. I think it plays the best. If it literally had a shield, I think Moon BO3 would be the perfect level difficulty. Best visual overhaul? Yeah, best visual overhaul. I think we can all agree on that. Is it better than Spaceland or Shadows? No. But it's a great map, though. Are you looking at the tier, tier list that you redeemed at the end of the stream, or are those just part? No, well, I'll look at them at the end of the stream. Don't worry. Moon had a huge glove. It does. Ultimus Radiary 51 before it was popular that one time. Yeah, exactly. The devs, um, the devs were not wrong. They, we all do have skill issues. That is true. BO3 Moon has Space Dog. Space Dog! Remember watching gameplay in the bathroom during Spanish class of Chronicles Moon? Same. I remember watching it in my chemistry class. BO3 Moon is very is very boring and slow. The difficult in the, the difficult map. I leave. I have my. I have thrown myself the map since April 2022. Still haven't even seen a papped gun. Oh brother, you have to play more than that then, because it's so much fun. I love Moon BO1, but BO1 mechanics and gameplay are good, but haven't aged the best. BO1 Moon was pretty glitchy, especially in co-op. Yeah, I feel like BO3 Moon just plays better. My mom took me to a raid room today. We broke stuff. You should try one. Cool. BO1 Director's Cut Moon is superior. Yeah, huh? Okay. Just use Gobblegums. Guys, use Gobblegums. Come on. All right, Trav. What do you got next, buddy? Here are the remaining maps. Make out of any map, Moon was the most ahead of its time. I agree. I think either that was ahead of its time or any of the um, Exos maps. Not because they're bad, but just because like I feel like the hectic gameplay is what zombies would eventually become. You have a good night, Lucky Fox. Can I look at your tier list? Okay, sure. I'll look at your tier list because you're going to sleep real quick. Oh my god, there are so many. Holy shnikes, Batman. Hey, Lucky Fox, what's your name in Discord? Trav B01, um, big, big Wang, Shang B01, all right. Fluff? Oh, it's Fluff? Cool, okay, awesome. Okay. All right, well, Lucky Fox is going to sleep. He's asked me very nicely. He's been a longtime member. I will absolutely look at his tier list. Everyone, let's um, cloud Lucky Fox. Like, don't cloud his list. He has been a very long time supporter of the channel, and I would be remiss not to look at his list. Okay. All right, in number one, we have Raven the Redwoods. This is already the fattest L of materials I've ever seen. We then have Zetsubo, another fat L. And then F everything else. We have the top five here. Hi, Cam. How are you? Based? Is this base? We have Doris B01, Rave, Shadow, Zetsubo Origins, and then everything else is in this F tier. I love there's not even like a second. <laughs> My top five maps, nothing compares. Okay. What is this tier list? This is Lucky Fox's tier list. This list is super kek, I agree. All right, thank you, Lucky Fox. Hope you have a good night's rest. 
Okay, anyways, BO1 Shang. BO1 Shang is absolutely, it's a map ahead of its time, but it suffers so much from slow gameplay and slow zombies. But despite that, it's still better than its BO3 counterpart, so. Despite, like, I think the visuals still hold up. Yeah, we're gonna have a good box. The visuals still hold up. The high round strat is really intuitive and really cool. BO3 Shang does not play as well, but we'll get there when we get there. BO1 Shang, great map design, very well designed, very good map flow, has a lot of really cool and unique ideas. Monkey map, yeah, monkey map. It's got a really good mechanic where like monkeys can give you perk bottles by stealing max ammos. That's really cool. But besides that, um, Shang is not one of my favorites. It's very difficult. The Easter egg is very archaic and it's a four player Easter egg. It's not very fun to actually do. And a lot of the time you just end up waiting for things to happen like puzzles. It's not a very fun Easter egg game. If they removed the, if they posted the tier list of the zombies, Reddit would be removed for low effort content. Yeah, exactly. Looks really good. It does. I think it's the map Chronicles dropped the ball on the most. For me, it's um, BO3 Verrucked. That map just doesn't do anything. It just exists. Okay, next map. All right, Stinky. What do you got, buddy? Wow, I've actually almost been through everyone. That's crazy. We got five people left to be picked for maps. BO3 Shang. All right. BO3 Verrucked is super pretty. Yeah, it is, but it's definitely not a very good gameplay one. All right, BO3 Shang. BO3 Shang is even worse. The fact that the baby gun does not help you as much as it does in BO1 Shang doesn't help. There's no shield. That's not helping anything either. There's not really a whole lot of actual fun to be had with the map, just because it's a very tight quarters map. It leaves a lot to be desired for BO3, and the zombies hit way too fast for such a close quarter experience. No shield also really hurts it. Stanley, I know you don't want people, um, a bunch of people to ask you about the tier list, I'm about to go to bed. That's kind of the problem. I can't do that for everybody. Man, I came out swinging on this map. Yeah, I just don't like it. I think it still looks very pretty. No spike mores? Yeah, no spike mores. That's about it. Okay, next map. We have five people left for a reset eligibility. All right, the Game Master, finally. BO3 Shang makes me feel sad. It would make me feel sad, too. You ever not pray, Bash? All right, buddy, what do you got? You've been waiting for over two hours. Yes, YouTube, please, let's keep playing ads. All right, you got it. Let's go my final, my favorite map, the Final Reich. Okay, the Final Reich. Final Reich is absolutely a goaded experience. It's got great content, great storyline, great visuals, amazing gameplay, stupid complicated for one, like stupid complicated for no reason, but a lot of fun. Final Reich, yeah, Final Reich is a great map. So much fun. Play Change Shoes ad right now? No. <laughs> Yeah, I think, I think we can all agree Final Reich is really cool. I also like the casual Easter egg quest as it actually appeals to different types of players who might not want to do a full hard on Easter egg. And the notebook system actually leads players through maps, which is really cool. The default Tesla gun is meh. Oh, it is, absolutely. But like the actual upgrades are amazing. Even if they're a little too complicated to get. The stupid gramophone step gave me PTSD. Oh my gosh, that gramophone step is so bad. I still never did the casual egg. Like, you have to. It's so much fun. Hello, CDC gang. Everyone load up. Thank you. I love the jump scares, especially after the 5,764th time. Uh-huh. Personally, like the hardcore you strike? Yeah, I agree. It's a lot of fun. This is going to be the longest stream. Car, I've had 12-hour streams, okay? All right, Cam, what do you got? Oh, now they're all out of order. 
Whatever. They say saved. <laughs> Revelations. All right. Did final work twice at randoms, which really proves um, something about how easy going it is. Yeah. I have to look for the map. Messed it up. Okay. Revelations. Revelations is a map that I've actually come to hate a lot more over the recent years. It's just not as fun as I thought it originally was. I think it's a great sandbox experience. It's a lot of fun. Gives you a lot to do. A ton of wonder weapons to play around with. A good amount of enemies to fight with said wonder weapons. But everything being locked to the box is a little bit annoying. I don't like having to do the Easter egg as it's very RNG based and not a lot of fun. And also, it's just not a fun map sometimes. But I really feel like where it shines is in its sandbox nature. There's so much to do in Revelations, it's insane. Rev is just remakes. I feel like that's kind of disingenuous. Its location is remade from other maps, sure. But I really feel like a lot of the maps take time to try and reinvent the map design, which I appreciate a lot more than just a one for one rip of each map. Love the look of Rev. I agree. Rev has a really nice look. <laughs> Funny gummy worms. Yeah. Map where you get pooed out of an apothecary. True. Okay. T zeros. Who's left, actually? Sheen, CDC, and Angelo. I'm surprised that Angelo never got picked. Huh. You have to make a second apology to Red for saying that? No. Helmel system should have been brought back. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Duron Fong. Oh, is this an easy one? Duron Fong sucks. Waste of your money. Is it better than Transit? I think so. Does it still play like a zombies map? Eh, kind of. But at the end of the day, it takes your money. It's $70. And let me tell you, it's not very fun. As I think most of us can agree, Tortured Path is kind of what Duron Fong should have been. <laughs> S tier, of course. Guys, best map of all time. Duron Fong. Duron Fun? Yeah, pretty much. Best Vanguard map, don't at me. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, CDC. You're up next, buddy. What zombies map do you want? I think we still have Nuketown on here, actually. We do. Nuketown? All right, you came at the perfect time. Duran Fog having no base survival was such a bad idea. I agree. Okay, Nuketown. Hot take. I, I really don't like Nuketown. I think Nuketown is not a lot of fun. Is Nightbot a bot? It is. I really don't like Nuketown. I don't like the type corridor map design. I don't like the layout. I really do not like, um, not that hot of a take. Okay. Phew. Thought people liked Nuketown. I got worried. Okay. I'm glad I I'm glad people agree with this. It's not fun. I don't like the perks being random. I don't think the weapon variety is very strong. It's got a really cool storyline as it takes place during the events of Moon, but that's about it. Not liking Nuketown is not a hot take. Phew, I thought people love Nuketown. Or at least not people love it, but they people, like, people love Nuketown. Round 40 in Nuketown put hairs on my chest. Nice. I'm in Nuketown. Oh my gosh, the CDC is in Nuketown. The M27, that's literally just an AR. Sure is a bad map. Alpha Omega, on the other hand. Yeesh. We'll get to Alpha Omega in a minute. All right. Who's next? Uncle Beans. <laughs> Sheen, you'll get there eventually. I don't love it, though. Newton can piss me off on a bad day. Yeah, exactly. I like Newton personally, but it's not anything I'm going to defend. Oh, no. I'm going to defend. Yeah, exactly. Suck my nuts, Nightbot. Ah. <sighs> Which one's better, Stanley? My favorite map or your favorite map? My favorite map, obviously. Cold War Outbreak. Yeesh. Me, youch. I genuinely wish Cold War Outbreak was better. I think it's an absolutely amazing starting template going forward. But by golly, is Outbreak Cold War just sometimes very painful to play. It's very slow. It's not very intuitive. It gives you a ton of things to do. But at the end of the day, I really do feel like that Outbreak Cold War does hurt itself by its massive ambition. What map do you um not want to be better though? 
What? Ask that again, Trev. Used to hang outbreak, but now I think it's eh. That's kind of the thing. I really feel like it's anything about meh to just okay. It's not anything better than that. D to F, depending on the map you get. Yeah. I'm real. The more they added, the less I liked it. Yeah. Cold War Outbreak is an asset simulator. It's not a bad way to look at it. Outbreak was such a waste of time. Would have rather had a fifth map. Yeah, I think we can all agree on that. But I really do feel like the more they're going to work with this idea, they'll refine it over time. Treyarch is great at that stuff. So hopefully we'll see what they do with it next game. Runs of Sonic Frontiers, a good starting template, but could be better. Yeah, I agree. So I think I'm going to leave it down there. That's a good way to put it. Cold War Zombies walks so 2024 could hopefully run. Let's hope it does. It crashed after 15 minutes. I can't fix it. I love Outbreak when it came out. Yeah. Where do I post my tier list? Um, Go to the Discord, then just DM me. This being a wise ass? Okay. Zoo is probably the worst playable section. Zoo's the best. What do you mean? All right, Heisenberger, channel member. Oh, oh, one day. One day, Sheen. It'll get to you. How many people are still left on this, on this eligibility? Oh, my God. One day, Sheen, maybe you'll get picked. <laughs> Here are the remaining maps. Funny in the both open world games. Yeah. I posted mine. We're going to check it out at the end. My bot must think I slept on his wife or something. <sighs> Next map, Alpha Among Us. Guys, it's Alpha Among Us. All right. I think Alpha Omega is better than OG Nuketown, but not by a whole lot. There's still one more Exos map. There is, Kara. My issue with Alpha Omega, one, the Nova Bombers suck. Number two, the Jolting Jacks suck. But other than that, I love the map's presentation. It's, I like the one up an idea. I love the characters. I love the storyline. And I love the music. I love the music of Alpha Omega so much. I like the idea of the Reagan Mark II upgrades, even if they're not very creative, they're fun to use. The fun process to unlock too. But God, do the Nova Bombers and Jolting Jacks completely ruin this map. It could have had such a good gameplay loop. Even if the map's a little ugly with its color palette, just the fact that those two enemies exist completely diminish any chance the map had at being good. And just for that, it's literally an E for that reason. You'd rather play Varuk than Alpha Omega? Hey, Donuts. Um, no. But I also don't want to call Varuk awful. Yeah, I definitely would. I played over Knocked, honestly. It's a good point. Or Bus Depot, too. <laughs> Alpha Omega keeps rising up the tears. There, I'll keep it there. Okay. Welcome. This is certainly an opinion. Yeah. Alpha Omega, in my opinion, is the worst map. It's such a shit experience and brings out the worst in BO4 and Blundell's era. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Jolting Jacks and their own are fine, but mixing them with Nova Bombers? Yeah. Certified Alpha Omega fan. Don't diss Alpha Omega or you'll face the wrath of us four Alpha Omega fans. Again, I love everything about that map except its actual gameplay. <gasps> Sheen! It's your turn, buddy. Also, I Am The Well is a goaded track. I hate I Am The Well. I Am The Well sucks. Shane, you finally did it. Did you put Alpha above low poly rap map? Absolutely. Any day of the week. <laughs> Dow votes, yeah, huh? Gotta drop the goaded BO1 Doris. I like BO1 Doris. BO1 Doris is fun. But that's about it. I feel like where it falls off is that um, the BO1 weapon selection isn't as good as the World at War weapon selection. Although, instead of, in trade-off of that, you get BO1's better overall feel and the fact that the Wonder Waff doesn't instantly kill you. And by instantly kill you, it removes your jug. So honestly, it's a great map. A lot of fun. That's about it. <laughs> Wait, see? Yeah, um, hot take for those of you people who don't know. I'm not a very big Doris lover. Do I have the OG Dury still down here? Where is it? No, did I rank it? Where is it? 
Or did I rank the OG Therese? <laughs> Am I blind? There it is. Yeah, I'm not a very big Darius lover. Darius more like mid -Reese. Yeah, it has some world at world guns. It does, not all of them. You didn't, I missed it. Got it. We're good. <laughs> you evil man, does rat high five mean nothing to you? No. Stanley, what about Darius song? What, Carl? <laughs> yeah, I'm not a very big Darius guy. I think Darius is a great map. It introduced a ton of great mechanics, but it's not really a map that I can get behind a whole lot. The Giant is better. I think the Giant is better, but I also don't like the Giant a whole lot either. Darius is very important though. Yeah, so is both Transit and Noct. And Noct is in D, Transit is in F. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's my opinion. Oh, what about the Darius song? Oh, okay. Oh, the I'm on Darius. Yeah, okay. Please play I'm on Darius. No. <laughs> All right, Donuts, what do you got, buddy? Pick your map out of the selection. Giant is the only experience I have on Darius. Yeah. I'm on Darius applies to World at War 2. Uh-huh. Inspired the greatest song ever. I'm on Darius. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm on Darius. I'm on Darius. Everybody look at me as I'm pissing on a zombie. Does Donuts do YouTube content? Therese introduced Pat, Bowie Knife, and Monkey Bomb? I guess so. But like at the end of the day, it doesn't really do a whole lot for me. It's about to... Oh, it's about to go down. All right, I guess Donuts isn't here. All right, Texas. What do you got, buddy? Again, I will not be easily swayed by the... It introduced this feature. Yeah, guess what? I introduced your mom to your dad, and now you have parents. Got him. Giant don't like as much Jerese because of the zombies themselves. Okay. When the kid said the gamer word, I knew I was listening to a masterpiece. <laughs> Firebase Z at least higher on, okay. Hey, Firebase Z is at C. I can't make it go higher. Just pick a map. Pick one of the remaining maps. <laughs> Can you put a monkey bomb gif on screen? No, it lags my um, computer. I introduced zombies to you, Stanley. Oh my gosh, you're my older brother? Wow. Knocked introduced zombies, but it's still not that good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> D-Machina. All right, D-Machina. I love D-Machina. Great map. I think it's an absolutely amazing reintroduction to the storyline. I love the way it plays. Got a great map design, great location, great way to start the story. Cool wonder weapon idea, even if some of them do suck. Like the Megaton is an enemy. And the actual idea of the Dark Aether is really cool and honestly best explored in this map of all maps. And it's a shame that Cold War doesn't do a whole lot with it past this map. Probably should be a little bit lower, but honestly I have, um, shall we say, opinions on the Mimic step? Yeah, okay. Beast is good and cause and cause injuries cryptids to zombies. Uh-huh. Better not put that garbage cringe base Z about my baby Sheldon from the hit map attack. Shut up, I don't hear it. Where is it? Fire base Z. Yeah, uh -huh. they're the same map. I don't want to hear it. I think D Machine just needed more. I think it's a base one weapon is really cool, but those upgrades stink. I don't know, the electric bolt's pretty cool. But I can see where you're coming from with it. I'll bring it to the whole objective where you enter the Dark Aether, but unfortunately you're trapped inside an area and can't leave. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's the only other time you're in the Dark Aether. <laughs> Knocked is good because it introduced the Ray Gun. Hey guys, um, five is good because it introduced the Winter's Howl. I'm playing the Shadow Throne and I hate training zombies to get Gekox. It's so annoying. Hate the introduced argument says it introduced stuff a, a decade ago. Yeah, exactly. All right, hey now, you're an all-star. Get, I almost exited out of that page and that would have completely reset eligibility. Oh, actually, Angel's the only one left, so never mind. I thought what I do, Angel, you're the last one. Never heard of that joke ever in my life. Mm -hmm. I know, right? You've probably never heard it before. 
Lex is good because he introduced stealing. <laughs> Let's go with Zetsubo. Okay. Zetsubo no Shrima. Okay. Zetsubo, I don't enjoy a whole lot as a... Where did it go? There it is. Where did Across the Sea come from? Right about here. Okay, Zetsubo. I think Zetsubo is just a good map. Especially nowadays. I'm still not the biggest fan of it. I don't like the setup of the map. But I do enjoy the actual reward of slowly building up your kit and getting stronger and stronger. That is arguably one of the map's best traits. I like its art design. I like its atmosphere. I don't like its lighting. And I don't like the bunker itself. And also the Easter egg, especially on co-op, can suck my nuts. Keeps you always busy. That's a good thing, but at the same time, it's not always a good thing. I really do wish that the plants kind of auto-made themselves. Zombie YouTubers are good because the answer is cringe, exactly. I like the skull. The skull, I think, is undeniably the best part about the map. Super cool. The pap camo looks like pee. It really does. <laughs> but funny plants from the hit game Plants vs. Zombies? Yeah. All right, Angelo, you are the last person. What do you got, buddy? After this, ladies and gentlemen, eligibility resets. Also, I'm surprised we've kept a consistent 50 viewers the entire stream. That is insane. <laughs> Takio was, oh my God, we're not saying that. <laughs> Oh, Ray is stealing scares me. Shut up. All right, guys. We're going to move on from Zetsubo now. What a great conversation. <laughs> so, where are we ranking Fazbear Frights? Probably A tier, you know? Shadow Throne. Okay. Shadow Throne. A map I don't enjoy very much. I don't like the colors. I don't like the Gekok system where they constantly change zombies and eventually the round just ends all, all prematurely on its own. I like the wonder weapon. I like the melee weapon idea. They really complement the map's very tight corridors. And some of those melee weapons are really, really cool. But at the same time, um, I don't like the unlock process, especially for the dancer's dagger. And the Easter egg is not a whole lot of fun. The map offers very little inside Easter egg content, and besides all of that, there's not a whole lot to do on the map. <laughs> Gecko Zombies map, yeah. Shadow Throne is better for me than Darkest Shorts because I'm not an Easter egg guy. More content for me. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of supplementing one drop in quest for Easter eggs, which is pretty much what Frozen Dawn and Shadow Throne are. Gotta hold a Pester Bomber? Yeah, exactly. The egg is basically just three mini side quests. Yeah, and then whatever the sword quest is. If you shoot out the zombie armor, it's in turn of Gekok. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. Such a sick setting. You're center in the, in the middle of Berlin in the final moments of World War II. I agree. That, the setting is easily the best part about the map. I love the Zeppelins. I love the way the city looks on fire. I love the atmosphere. But I don't like killing off the game's antagonist in, like, the third map. That's not very cool. I can't understand the radio and it's required to do anything. Yeah, the, the, the actual setup of this map is god-awful. I wish I had more training spots. Yeah, it's a very small map. All right, Tanyo. Welcome, buddy. What do we got? I actually love the sh that about Shadow Throne. I wish I did more. We almost never defeat any antagonist. I agree. But at the same time, I feel like it would have been a great way to end the story. Mr. Blue Sky is the greatest song of all time. I don't even know what that song is. I probably know it by like hearing it. Wait, what do I win? Pick the map, buddy. That we have to rank next. Someone pick Outbreak AW so we can reintroduce Kara. Yeah. <laughs> the God King was not a good follow-up to Straub. He really isn't. Buried. All right, Buried. All right, I love Buried. Buried's a great map. Great sandbox. Great feel. Love the Wonder Weapon. Hate the Witches. Cool map, though. Great way to get perks. I think it's better than... It's not better than D Machina for me. Actually, it might be better than Orison's BO3. Yeah, this is better. Okay. 
<laughs> We're buried deep underground, buried in a western town. Okay, cold dog water. Welcome to the map. Welcome to the stream. Paris is the best map of all time. You know what's even a better map? Pick one of these so we rank them next. Buried is boring though. I like buried. I think boring is what works well for the map. It gives you a lot of freedom to do whatever you want without like punishing you for trying new things. <laughs> no bad words. No, 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 no bad words. Buried, we hear this. Buried, we hear the sound of a crazy, nice female who's flying around. Why is it transit better than Shadows of Weevil? Because transit sucks. I have yet to hear a good argument why I should place it any higher. Hi, Ben. How are you, man? Good to see you. All right, chat. We're resetting eligibility on the picking, so please. Let me have mods. There we go. Okay. All right, Josh, you're the first pick. Finish the word. Poor, poor for war. <laughs> it's like having burnout next to a bunch of dirt, dry brown, and eye hurting. What? Die rise. All right, die rise. Die rise is another map. It's way better than transit, but it's not much better. It's got a very high skill ceiling, which is kind of fun, but by golly, would I not want to be actually playing this map sometimes? The setup is absolutely obnoxious. It's not very fun to play. The map constantly pushes you downward to the lower parts of the map, which makes you eventually have to get back on elevators to get to the top of the map. Die Rise does not deserve F. It absolutely does. You are goofing? I'm not goofing. D, at least. You think it's better than Verruckt? Or, like, Archon, actually? Hmm. <laughs> wah, wah, I can fall off the map. Hey man, learn how to jump. Yeah, you're right. I didn't think about that. Die rise bottom of D. I'm gonna put it top of E. Die rise is doo doo water. It absolutely is doo doo water. Die rise does have the lean gun. It does. Die rise should be D. I'm not putting it in D. I don't think I have the heart to put it in D. Cool wonder up and cool setting. Buildable's new perk, even if it's scrap crap. I think it's better than farm. I don't think so. I think farm's more fun. Noct is a bad map. Not as good as you think. But it's Wait. Noct is, Noct is a bad map. Not as good as you think it is, but very slow. Yeah. Hi, you can accept. Yeah, okay. Die Rise is only salvation is the smoke fire. Yeah. Okay. Next person. All right, Tim. We're back to you, buddy. <laughs> farm needs to be higher. All right, my farmers, where do we put farm? But I rise T's PhD, so there's an F. Yeah, Tim Hanson. Say Tim Hanson one more time. <laughs> Guys, there's more people named Tim than Tim Hanson. Voyage. Voyage! Finally! I'm, I'm, this is not, for those of you who are joining this channel for the first time, this is not a joke. Voyage is legitimately one of my favorite maps of all time. This is not a joke. I love this map so much. It will absolutely go in S tier. Not to mention Dairai's trolls with PhD Floppa and the second you who's who. Also, hi, I'm, I'm first time being here. Hi, welcome most wanted. Nine is better than Voyage. Shut up, Tanya. Voyage. Voyage is one of my favorite maps of all time. Tim Hansen has lost 18 years of his life. Yeah. <laughs> Nine stays in first. Nine's finally being dethroned by an actual good map. So for me... Whenever I think of Voyage, I think of how many times I played Voyage, and honestly, I can't think of a single time where I didn't have fun on the map. I love it so much. If Voyage didn't have Blight Fathers, I was cracking spawn Soulbox spawns. I'd like it more. Understandable. <laughs> Kraken is amazing. I love the Kraken so much. It's, it's just one of my favorite maps of all time. Voyage is a good map, but high rounds are boring. That's a lot of maps, though. A lot of high rounds are boring. Love its Easter egg. Love its spectacle. Love the way it looks. Love the way it plays. Love the way it sounds. 
I, I can't gush over this map enough. Voyage is S tier. Easy. What is the worst looking map besides Transit? Probably one of the Torture Path maps. <laughs> I didn't believe your love for Voyage, but after doing the Easter egg with the Homunculus Kraken cheat, I'm now a believer. Good. Triple Barrel Cannon. We love Triple Barrel Cannon. Don't let the Zonics community see us. You'll be murdered and framed for suicide. Yeah, right. The Kraken more like what's Kraken AO. AO. Think Voyage A is insane when infection and beast exists. Exactly. At like I can like legitimately understand at worst Voyage is like a D tier map, but below infection and beast, nah, nah. Map is literally overhated. This is one of the most overhated maps of all time. My favorite part about the sinking of the Titanic was when they found the Stoker. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Next. Texas, you're up again, buddy. Third time's the charm, am I right? Preach, thank you, exactly. Voyage of this hair, yeah. Voyage, you hate these stuff, yeah. Voyage is so boring. Chat, ban that man right now. Ban him. Josh, I see you. I'm pointing my finger right at you. Banned for hating my favorite map. All right, well, Texas is dead, so. <laughs> All right, Golem, back to you. <laughs> Voyage is for a gorgeous disappointment. Oh, Shino Numa, but based Vanguard version. Okay. Shino Numa. Um, where is it? There it is. Okay. Awakening. All right, we'll pick Awakening right after this. All right, I love Shino Numa Vanguard. I think it's a great map. If you ask me, like, a basic map that plays really well and probably does the best with Vanguard's mechanics, it's Shino Numa on Vanguard. It's easily the game's best map. I love it. It's a good map. Whenever I think of, like, having... If I'm forced to play Vanguard, this is a map I know I'm going to have at least a decent time on. Worst Shino Numa? No, that goes to BO1. Easily. Shino Numa Vanguard bottom D. I think it's great. It's a C tier map for me. Easily. It doesn't do anything like offensively wrong, other than being in Vanguard. <laughs> wrong opinion detected. Lethal forces authorized. Literally, literally made Shinun Numa not a miserable experience. Yeah, that's how I feel about it. <laughs> People think Shinun Numa's bad because it's on Vanguard. Yeah, I think it's a good map. Like, it's just fun. And that's what I'm looking for in a zombies map sometimes. Did I get chosen while I was gone? You did not. We finally reset eligibility, so now everyone has another chance to get picked. It's the only Shinun Numa on console to have the decency to have Pack-a-Punch. Yeah, exactly. It's the only one, which is crazy to me. Can you play Zombie Dance Party in honor of Voyage? No. I still wouldn't pay 70. I don't think you should pay 70. At most, like 20. For a guy who doesn't seem to care about the Chaos storyline, you sure do seem to love the maps. Um, when did I say I didn't like the Chaos storyline? If I did say that, that's a wrong opinion. I love Chaos storyline. I might have said the nine characters, like the actual like characters on nine, but like the characters when they get to Ancient Evil, Chef's Kiss. Why is Voyage my favorite? I don't know. I love the map, love the design, love the art style, love the enemy variety, love the gameplay, love the Kraken, love the Easter egg, just fun. It's never coming back. Who cares? Still got some good maps out of it. See, I told you, stealing people are confusing you for hooded. Yeah, yeah. Okay, next map. I was like the, the chaos characters. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what a Newton's ball sack was that? All right. Rick Tom's Revenge. What map do you got for me, buddy? Wait for the days when Vanguard just becomes available on eBay for $10 to $13. Yeah, exactly. Can you play Peach Boogie in honor of Sheldon's birthday every day? Is his birthday? Yeah, uh huh, sure. No. Oh, Awakening? Oh, right, Awakening. Okay, thank you for reminding me. Okay, Awakening. Extinction map. Um, just an okay map. I love the visual flair of Awakening. 
but I just sometimes don't get the most out of playing it, if that makes the most sense. I'm not a big fan of having to always destroy the, like the little like pylons every single time you have to go through any of the three gates. I don't like the gargoyles as enemies, but I do like exploring a lot. The map gives you a lot to actually reward you for going around the edges and actually exploring, which is really cool. I do like the mammoths, even if they are complete bullet sponges like they are in Beast. So yeah, I like Awakening. I, I love the final section. The final section's a lot of fun too. It's a good replacement for a boss fight. Funny mammoth, exactly, yeah. It's like Shang pretty to look at, boring to play. Yeah, pretty much. People hate BO4 because half the remasters, well, half because half is remasters while BO3 had 10. I mean, that's fair, but in BO3's case, the giant was really the only remastered map and then Zombie Chronicles didn't take up precious DLC slots. If people made, like, if they made Blood, Classified, Alpha, Omega, and Tog DLC that's outside of the main season, I think people would have warmed up to it more. People just didn't like feeling like that the main portion of their content was re, was re, like, was remade content. So you kind of got to look at it like that. Have I stood up since streaming? No, but this happens a lot. How much damage did the default dance? There you go. That's all you get. See, I stood up and I did the default dance. Get that blood moving? I did. You're welcome. We've been blessed. Yeah, you don't get to see the whole thing. Giant wasn't even a DLC slot. Yeah, exactly. I think that classified would be the only one exempt from this. Okay, show out. Do me a favor and never do that again. You got it, buddy. Based, don't say based. Hi, Burb. I cannot see more pixels, nice. Premise ripped off and doing the default dance. How many maps are left? This many. <laughs> based, based on what exactly? Don't worry, we still got some bangers like classified. Okay, show up might be dead. <laughs> Hey, I'm Yvescu, welcome. Awakening was so cool, I cannot understand not liking it too much though. I can understand not liking it. Probably my third favorite extinction map among all zombies as well is a different story. Yeah, exactly. This entire month I've been playing on BO4 playing Voyage and Nine. Nice. Welcome back. Classify the banger, yeah, for real. As a kid, did you ever tell your mom when I grew up I want to sit in a chair online for hours while ranking zombies maps and reading a chat of insane people? No, I never did, but here we are. Okay, Ben, what map do we pick next? Which is better, Voyage or 9? In my opinion, Voyage. Most people, the general public, will probably pick 9. Two hours and no one picked Point of Contact. No one's picked Classified either, so. Or, or OG Darice. Pretty sure the survival maps have names. They do. I forgot to write them down. This is like USS Mount Olympus. This is Altar of Blood. And this is Bodega Cervantes. <laughs> Gross house. Voyage or Dead of the Nine? Oh, it's Voyage. Easily for me. Hey, Nick. How are you? Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. All right, T-Zeros, what map do we pick next? <laughs> no one's picked my favorite diner. Can I just throw diner and like, turn just being a bad game mode and just move on with my life? Cause like, it's not even fun at replay value. <laughs> the champion of Stanley has been slain. Thank you. See, I'm glad we agree on that. Rip turn, turn's just so boring. Let's go with Gorod. All right, Gorod Krovi. I'm a big Gorod fan. Gorod's pretty contentious between a lot of people. I think it's a great map. Great intro, great environment. Let me think, what else? The, the one diner fan will hurt you. Yeah, I know they will. Love the, I do like the Mark Threes a lot, even if they're not good in high rounds. I love the Easter egg. It's difficult, it's hectic, it's fun. GK ruined my day, I'm so sorry. 
I know a lot of people either really love or really hate Gorod. I'm a big Gorod fan. I love the fantasy versus future like design setup. I love the robots. I love the dragons, the shield. I think it does enough for me to throw so much garbage at the wall that it works really well. I'm a BO3 fanboy. Yeah, I said three good maps I really like. That's crazy. Valkyries were annoying. I think Valkyries are the worst part about it. Yeah. Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades is so good. Also, Pengu. I don't think I ever said hi to you. Hi. Robots versus dragons. Argument ended. Yeah, it's so, like, metal. All right, Falman. Back to you, buddy. Miss Shilak's by Garage Mansion? Yeah, right. Still the king of turn. Shut up, Lobster. The entire way zombies is written. Oh, yeah. It's, the story is a little wonky. Voyage or Ancient Evil? Oh, Voyage still. I mean, buddy, look at my tier list. Garrod's look. I like not so much the gameplay. It's too cramped for my liking with having a personal issue for sure. I have trouble navigating it. That makes sense. Hi, amateur. In my opinion, Origins goes in F. We've had a few people say that today. <laughs> Voyager Oxygen. I guess I'm not breathing. <laughs> OMG, lobster. Guys, lobster? Hello? I thought you pick me again. Yeah, right. Voyager Killer Bean. Killer Bean, easily. Bruno, um... Bruno or Dead of the Night? Bruno, seriously? Wait, what? <laughs> you say that, Ben. Can we get a rating here for Classified? Oh my god! Classified! I love Classified so much. Whenever... I'm not gonna put all BO4 maps at the top, but god do I love Classified so much. Listening to the jury song? No, Kara. I chose Iceberg map over Auction. What a Chad. Yeah, right. Terra. I'm going to throw Terra at the bottom. Terra sucks. It's honestly worse than Dur than Duran Fong. But not as bad as Beast from Beyond. Anyways, this map's got the last gen Richtoff and Jump Scare. It's got an upgraded Winter's Hal. I love the map design. Love the way it added new stuff. Love the way it plays. I love the soundtrack of this map. The intro cutscene is fire. The intro cutscene music, fire. The Easter egg, God, is that Easter egg absolutely suck. But besides that, classified, love it. My problem with GoRod's intro is that they plop our characters in a sticky situation. Instead of our characters doing something to get rid of it, they just sort of luck out with the guy with the parachute. Yeah, pretty much. Classified is so goaded. I love classified. It's like five, but completely modernized and plays so well. Also, Classified has a shield, which is what every single Zombie Chronicles map needed. You don't need any other buildable but a shield. And Classified proves that. Classified is an Easter egg? Yeah, it's called getting to around 150. Shockwave? Okay, Shockwave I don't like, first of all. I don't like Shockwave's very good. But besides that, so good. Such a good map. Okay, we're almost done, ladies and gentlemen. Agonized Yeti, what do we got? Elevator music? The elevator music is so good. Classified should have been named for five because we don't need five. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I'm actually the best zombies player ever, so I can get to the cutscene relaxing end here. Did y'all rank buried? We did. We ranked buried B tier. Are buried. Stanley, that map is a shield. S tier. It's so good, though. Classified Easter egg should be round two. <laughs> Shockwave is goaded. I don't like Shockwave. I had to go. All good, man. Now sit in the corner with the shield and hold Eb1. Yeah, pretty much. So cool. <laughs> Never said the Easter egg was good. I think it should have been 100. 100 would have been a good level for it. Can you check if I did mine right? No, not yet. I love Bear, but can respect your opinion. I love it too, but I don't think it's anything above that. Funny JFK map. Um, we already did both of those, so. Also, I got Jetty, you won, so. <laughs> BO4 has so many good songs. Communities, you have to realize it. BO4's OST is so good. 
around 935 for the East strike. Sounds fair. Yeah, right. All right, let me get this out of the way. Let's get some other ones out of the way. Dead Ops 2. I hate Dead Ops 2. Would I rather? I think I'd rather play. There's a lot of things I'd rather play than Dead Ops 2. It's pretty bad in my opinion. Where is Ancient Evil? Ancient Evil is like high B tier. I do like Ancient Evil a lot. I love how in World War II, Jerusalem always avoids death. Yeah, it's so weird, right? <laughs> Dead Ops 2. Damn, I'm so sorry. I hate Dead Ops 2. Moon? Moon! I like OG Moon a lot. OG Moon has definitely not aged very well, but it's still so much fun. Difficulty? Great. Insanity? Great. Very, like, just difficult in general? Yeah. Well, we give it a Pog Toffin. Sorry, I forgot Pog Toffin, but I do have Pog Tempest. I'll make a Pog Toffin eventually. Dead Ops 3 is the colder one? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Your moon video made me wheeze. Well, I'm glad you like it. We should have gotten Library of Alexandria. We should have gotten a lot of things. <laughs> w Tog. Yeah, I like Moon a lot, though. I think Moon BO3 is aged better, but Moon BO1 is still really good. All right, let's get some other ones out of the way. Knocked BO1. Pretty much plays the same as the original Knocked, except that's a little bit worse because the rounds are technically take much longer. Baruch BO1, just like the other one, a little bit worse than the original. Shinonuma BO1, much worse than the original because you can't get through the rounds very quickly, which is the only appeal of the original Shinonuma. God, I wish zombies were well written. Join the club. Nox Lone Screen music is fire, though. It is. Okay, Cell Block. Cell Block, hot take, sucks. Having no jug, cool challenge, sucks. Getting blocked off by other players also sucks. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you missed out on the garbage that is Cell Block. I hate Cell Block so much. Cell Block is so boring. Cold War is well written. Sucks that it was an intel. That's an L opinion. Cold War has so much storyline in the maps. Cell Block F. Cell Block is so bad. GH, PhD Flopper is so weird on only Cell Block. Yeah, it's so weird. All right, what other maps can we like knock off the list? Um, okay, knocked BO3, much better than its original counterparts. You get the Gobblegum and the Wonder Fizz, but it's still knocked and it still sucks. What else do we have? We then have Kino BO3, which is honestly worse than its original edition. More aggressive AI, kind of sucks. Grief, fun mode, but mediocre for cell lock, yeah. Zombies should be more humorous. Hmm, it's not a weird opinion. I feel like it always has been. But at the end of the day, I feel like the writers would have to be more comedical and the writers just aren't as funny. All the interesting stuff anyways, like the internal affairs of the US and the USSR and the survivors of the Dark Aether. Honestly, hey now, how would you write that in the maps though without bogging down the experience? I feel like them only putting in intel works really well. How can you hate Dr. Peck? Yeah, how could you hate Dr. Peck? Dr. Peck is so good. Controversial opinion, Mob isn't well written. Mob is so well written. When her Origins BO2 is going to be ranked, we'll get there. My main problem with Voyager is that there's too many dead ends. That's fair. It's a very confusing map and it's very difficult to navigate. Just died to the Stod Jaeger in phase three. Ooh, that sucks. I'm asking for better writing. Yeah, that's true. Is there any DS maps? Not on this, but we will add them eventually when I actually play them again. Okay, what else do we got? Uh, Shinonuma BO3, another version of Shinonuma. That sucks because it doesn't have any Pack-a-Punch, but better than the BO1 version because of Gobblegums. Varuk BO3, also better than the original versions of Varuk, but also sucks because it's still Varuk, and honestly, might be worse because the zombie hit speed is annoying. Oh, we didn't rank Ascension yet. Yeah, we'll keep Ascension BO3. Okay, um, that should be about it. Okay. Are you actually gonna play DS? Not only am I gonna play DS, chat, I have a capture card coming in. So I'm actually gonna play COD Zombies on the original 3DS. Wait, hold on. Like chat. I have the game. I bought the game. It was only like 20 bucks. 
I have the game, so we're not gonna emulate it. I've spent $300 on a capture card and we're gonna be playing the DS maps live on stream on the original software. No breaking controllers, no more breaking controllers. So I promise you, we will be playing it for real. You spent $300. Getting a capture card is very expensive. Capture cards are not cheap to get installed on your 3DS. I'm going to do the moon Easter egg on DS. Yeah, right. 300 rip. Sad to say, for those of you who don't know, getting a capture card on your 3DS is a process that doesn't exist anymore and is stupid, stupid expensive. BO2 or BO4 Stoolinger? Oh, they both suck. Probably BO4. But I promise you, we'll play it for real. Okay, let's knock some other easy maps off the list. Gross and House Survival. Great map. A lot of fun. It's honestly knocked, but just done really well. Sounds pretty stupid. Oh, it is. Why? I don't know. Still injured kind of sucks no matter what. Last Gen DE ranking. Don't have it on here. I haven't played it. <laughs> BO2 or BO4? Rustman? Oh, BO4 easily. I love when you're talking about the Agatha device. Okay, Gross and House on the prologue. It's not as fun because you don't have perk options, but still a lot of fun still. What's the best written map not talking about characters? I hate random blitz. I hate random blitz too. How can you put Gross and House on this list but not Riot? Gross and House is a real map. We Kino haven't played it yet. What's the best written map not just talking about characters? Hmm. Not just talking about characters. Probably Ancient Evil. Ancient Evil has a really good through line of lore with actual Greek mythology while still writing it into zombies. They did a really good job. It's my friend Lily's birthday. Happy birthday, Lily. COD Zombies Mobile. Haven't played it. <laughs> Blood of the Dead? No. Shut up. Oh, Blood of the Dead Story. Yeah. <laughs> Different zombie crew tier list. Honestly, Tanya, I don't even like half the crews. <laughs> okay. Into the Storm Survival. A really good survival map. Very small. Not a lot of stuff to do, but a lot of fun still. USS Mount Olympus survival map, though. That's a lot of fun. For one reason, one reason alone. There's no wusslings, which I can't even begin to describe how much fun that makes um, USS Mount Olympus. What is the funniest zombies map? I don't know. Probably, like, classified. It's so, like, cartoonish, but it works really well. <laughs> red herring red herring map and finally beneath the ice this map is cool because it has a lot of really unique side easter eggs like the sword actually being able to upgrade the base tesla gun and also just a lot of fun to play you get so many different tools at your disposal smash your past video when never all right chat these are the final maps tab what map do we pick it's not even funny how much better Rage and Evil is written. Yeah, for real. Shaw's the best written character in Chaos. Um, you spelled Diego Nicali wrong. How many maps do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine maps. Wow. Point of contact. All right. Point of contact. Point of contact is arguably the most middle of the road of any of the extinction maps. It does a really good job setting up extinction, but that's about it. Nothing more, nothing less. Diego sucks. Chat, ban that man right now. I'm looking at you, Ben. You're getting banned. <laughs> Screw Diego, not a big fan. Chat, ban Burb. Ban him too. Burb, I'm watching you. Ban, ban, ban him. Ban him, chat. If I don't get picked again, I'll have a fuss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Car, why would you delete their message? It's pretty easy to the last type. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mr. Electric sends Mephistopheles. Screw Diego. You know what? Never mind. I'm done. I'm done with this chat. Okay, Pengu. What do we got? Adding them to the death note. Ultimate is an intro. Nothing more compared to the others. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shaw sweeps. Outbreak. All right, Kara, the final outbreak map. Okay. 
Let me join mod VC real quick. Oh my god, there's so many things we have to look at after this. Oh my god. Okay, Kara. Last map. I'm still alive. Great. <laughs> Diego's a cutie. Diego is so good looking. Why, God, chat, why can't I look like Diego? Okay, come on. Yeah, that's what I thought, Angel. Hi, Kara. Hey. Kara, it's the final map. Yes, we're here. My <laughs> final appearance on stream, everyone. <laughs> For oh, Outbreak, okay. the last map. If you ask me, it's an awful map. Tight corridor, not very fun. Not a very good intro with not very good characters. And also doesn't do a very good job at using the exo movement. I can give you that one. It, it is not good at, you know, for the, it's, it's to like close, like you, for exo, you need to be able to jump around. That's the whole point and it misses that point. Yeah, I agree. I really feel and like that it, it doesn't do enough with the exo mechanic. Yeah, I feel like uh, that's what maps like Carrier and Descent did correctly. They they gave you the ability to use your exosuit. And the infection rounds on this map really, they shouldn't have been on this map at all. Yeah, I agree. They just make moves. It's too tight corridor for it to actually work. Yeah, it's just... Uh... Yeah, not not a good experience. Um, I would say um, for first tackling, definitely wasn't a good opener to EXOs. Yeah. Seems like the first few maps weren't that. So, yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> I'm trying to think of is there anything good on on that map? Not anything that's not done better on carrier or like descent. Then I would say, yeah, throw it, throw it with the transit. I wouldn't put, I'm just, it's, it's low E in my opinion. Not anything worse though. It's not infection bad, but it's just like, it's just so fundamentally awful. Yeah. Outbreak the musical is peak though. It is though. <laughs> yeah. It's the only EXO thing to get a musical. The rest of them. The only one that needed it though. Well, I mean, Rocket Gaming did musicals for all the maps. True, but Rocket but... Gaming copyright claims me, so. Yeah, true. <laughs> all right, well, thank you for so... joining us, Kara. Thank you all for having me. And remember, Moon is good, Descent is good, and Play 9. That's about <laughs> it. Thank you, Kara. Bye. Goodbye. I'm sorry, I shouldn't let the intrusive thoughts win. Yeah, don't let that happen again. <laughs> Ancient Evil paid off for seven boys and tried to do something else, but we'll never see what was that was about. I want death. Yeah, huh? We'll join the club. Everyone look at me as a pissing on an EMZ. There you go. Justice for transit. Still didn't hear a good enough argument. All right, chat. We are in the final one, two, three, four, five, six, seven maps. I'm going to rank Dead Ops Arcade 3 myself. Dead Ops Arcade 3. Top tier mode. So much fun. Actually incentivizes players to do good in it. First person mode is a godsend for this mode. Without it, it might be like a B or a C. First person though, A, instantly. So good. All right, anyways, last last few maps. What else do we have? Pick me, pick me. I don't know, it's up to Nightbot to decide. Nikki G, back at it again. The original channel member. Third of the Night actually has god awful writing, it pretty much does. First person did after K3 was weird, but fun. It's so good. The fact that you don't get one shot is absolutely amazing. Mario Kart Chaos, Nine Voyage, Ancient Evil, and Dead in the Night. Yeah, that's pretty much how I feel about it. Of course, Kara. I enjoyed your little cameos. I thought I was the first channel member. Technically, it was Noodles, then Nikki G, then I think it was you, Angelo. Ascension BO3, it's the one, it's the only one besides the giant that I've played. Okay, Ascension BO3, a lot of fun, but honestly doesn't benefit very well by, from the multiple perk system because of the monkeys. So most people just run Jug, Quick Revive, Double Tap, and 
Deadshot. But honestly, still regardless, Ascension is a really, really good map. I still really enjoy it. No matter what, I feel like because of its wonder weapon variety, I'm always having fun on it, and I feel like it's always fun to kill zombies in very ludicrous ways. I'd say I played over the Darkest Shore. Same the original Ascension. I love OG Ascension. Despite how hard it is, it's a lot of fun. What was the best written zombie season? Probably Cold War. Ascension above Kino. I, hmm. I don't know if it's above Keen or not. I feel like the monkeys really hold it back. Especially when you get too many perks, because you need to have the doors open to get to pack, so it's kind of annoying. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm going to keep Ascension, like, around here. I think that's a good way to put it. Okay, finally, the last four. Actually, I'm going to get rid of Mayday, so we have three maps left. Mayday. Mayday is also a lot of fun. It's kind of rivaled with, um with Nightfall for being my favorite um, ex for extinction experience, but it just falls off just a little bit. It's better than Awakening, and I love the Kraken boss fight. Hi, Alex. Darker Shore should be S. Oh, yeah, it should be for what, Shore? Mayday's Voyage before Voyage. Mayday walked, guys, so that Voyage could run. Three maps left, and they're all the Giants, yeah. All right, Mr. High, out of these three maps, what's left? Boss fight where you fight the Wonder Weapon, for the, where, you, where you fight the Wonder Weapon, the Kraken, that'd be cool, yeah. All right, we have three maps left, and technically two maps, two very contentious maps. Transit has, has, poten has more potential than people realize. Yeah, it sucks though. Guess what, your mom has more potential, got him. Technically, every map has infinite potential. Some maps just suck. Massive, like, trains of copium. All right, Doris. I really like Doris. It's a lot of fun. I don't think Doris is one of my top favorite maps of all time, but I really do enjoy it a lot, though. It has solid level design, great gameplay. The only thing that sucks about the original Doris is that the Wonder Wolf does kill you. Where did I put the original? Where did I put BL1 Doris? BL1 Doris, there it is. It's definitely not as good as BL1 Doris, but still a really good map. I have no potential, got him. My mother has passed, I am so deeply sorry. Transit is top tier if you have a friend to play it with. What I hate about that argument is, is that you're telling me none of these maps are fun to play with your friends. <laughs> Dear sheesh. Okay, and then there's the giant. Actually, you know what, I'll leave it up to chat. Chat, 50-50. Angelo, do we pick Origins or the Giant? World of War Doris broken as heck. It really is. But it's still a good map, though. <laughs> pick me. Angelo, you get the last vote of the night. <laughs> Origins. All right, original BO2 Origins. I have definitely fallen off of this map a lot more in recent years, like Shadows. But I still really, really enjoy it. I think Origins has absolutely paved the way for the future of zombies. It did a... I love it a lot. It does introduce a lot of cool mechanics, and I think it's a lot of fun, too. Although, over time, it has gotten a lot more boring. The quest can feel more elongated than they used to, and can be definitely more... It leaves much more fatigue to constantly build up and pick and try to build the staffs every single time you want to play. It's not as top tier as it used to be anymore. But I don't think it's a bad thing in the slightest. As our tastes change, and as maps go down in rankings, it's natural for that to happen. But yeah, all right, chat, last map. All right, chat, what map do we pick? Do we pick the giant or the giant? I'll let this one be up to you guys. Who gets to pick? The ch Everyone gets to pick. Ladies and gentlemen of the chat, did we pick the giant or the giant? Let me know.
<laughs> the giant. You know, guys, I think the giant's going to win. Don't want to brag. <laughs> giant is angry. Yeah, right. Burnout happens a lot in zombies. Exactly. I want to pick. Tanya, you're technically picking. Pick the one that has changed shoes. Ooh, that's not on the giant. Teresa declassified, of course. All right. It seems to be the chat wants the giant. And honestly, the giant, a lot of fun. No glitches, has some good gobblegum uses, great way to use the Wonder Waff, a lot of fun, a little too close chords, about a little too close quarters for my liking, but still a lot of fun. And definitely better than the original, in my opinion. My list is bold as hell. What do you mean? I got like 9 DE, Shadows, Gorod, Spaceland, Final Reich, Origins. I have like all the top tiers here. I really don't understand how else this list can be bold, ignoring like Voyage number one. <laughs> 72%, 27 the opposite. Someone's glitching the vote. I stood up a date so Stanley would see my tier list. You're lying. You did not do that. Blow the Dead and Sea? Yeah, because it's okay. It's a great map. It just has a lot of issues. It also comes with free mod tools. True. Isn't the Wonderwolf kind of bugged on the Giant for making crawlers? Is it? I actually have no idea. I can't believe you didn't pick the Giant. I'm sorry. All right. Let's get this roundup done real quick. In the top tier, we have Voyage 9, Drys and Drock, Mountain Toten, Shadows of Evil. In the A for Amazing Tier, we have Gorod, Dr. Toten, Zombie Space, Unclassified, The Final Reich, Moon, BO3, Dead Arcade, Origins on BO2. In the good tier, we have Ancient Evil, Mob the Dead, Call the Dead, Barry, D Machina, Origins BO3, Ghost House Survival, Ghost House Prologue, Nightfall. Then in C for OK, we have Moon, Keener Toten, Keener Toten, BO3, Forsaken, 5, Revelations, Blood of the Dead, Carrier, Dead of the Night, Ascension, Ascension BO3, Darkest Shore, Raven Lord, with Radio Dark Thing, Fire Basic, Shinu Nuba Vanguard, Giant, Jerry's BO1, Jerry's, Shangri La, Zest of Ocean, um, Mayday, Awakening. In the mid tier, we then have Outbreak, Cold War, Shinu Town, Descent, Shadow Throne, Frozen Dawn, Alpha Omega, Buried. Or burrowed across the sea survival, Shangri La, BO3, Dinopter K1, Farm, Bus Depot, Nocturne Home, BO3, Nocturne Home, Nocturne Home, BO1, Shino Nuba, BO3, Shino Nuba, BO1, Exodus, Shadow and Shuffle, Into the Storm Survival, Across the Sea, Torture Path, Beneath the Sea, Beneath the Ice, Survival, Point of the Contact, For Even Off, We have Diarize, we, we Diarize Buried, Verrucked. Just not buried. Diarize, Verruck, Verruck, BO1, Verruck, BO3, Nuketown, The Archon, Cell Block, Torture Path, Torture Path, Into the Storm, Torture Path, Beneath the Ice, Dead Up Circuit 2, Outbreak, and then Effort Painful, We have Transit, Duran Fong, Terra Malicta, Beast Beyond, Infection, and Diner. Oh my god. Okay. And finally, chat. We will now be looking at your tier list. I do have to make sure that people don't send me tier lists with our stuff on Discord with very no no stuff, so. Okay, so for the S tier, we have the Archon. This is this was submitted by um as Ranvin, I think that's how you say your name. All right. Uh, L list. No, uh, this is. Uh, how do I put this? This is a good tier. Uh, got, chat, will we say this is a good tier list? We got the Archon, and then everything else is in painful. Uh, but definitely a Pog tier list. Next up, we have J Man 5x5. This guy's a stuff. <laughs> w tier list. Everyone do the same joke. Yeah, it's called that's how jokes work. The only correct tier list. All right, this is by J-Man. All right, in the S tier, we have Zetsubo, Shadows, Mob, Final Reich, and Maurer. Those are some pretty good picks. A for Amazing. We've got Ascension and Gorod. Pretty good. D, Machina, and B. Okay. We have Ancient Evil and Darius and B. Okay. In the F tier, we have Dead of the Night. We found the Dead of the Night hater. Okay. Understandable, J-Man. Understandable. So good, you say it's Van Goated, yeah. <laughs> okay, I get it. L tier list, D Machina. Where's D Machina? D Machina B, not bad, not bad. We have Voyage and D for bad execution. Um, Chad, this is a bad tier list. Down <laughs> at the bottom, yeah, I don't know. All right, J-Man, pretty good tier list. Another L tier list. All right, next one's by Sheen. Your chat's gonna tear me a new one. I should mention this is entirely based around primary casual mindset. I very rarely do Easter eggs slash related, just go for high rounds. I'm indecisive. Okay. We have Moon, Darius B01, Tog, Call of the Dead, and Mob. That's a pretty good top five right there. On your bottom, too broke to buy DLC. 
We have Carrier Descent, Darkest Shore, Shadow Throne, Tortured Paths, Nightfall, Mayday, Awakening, and Exodus. Okay. And then for F for Painful, we have not the Archon, not Terra Maldicta, but instead we have Noct B01, Bus Depot, and Infection. You'd rather play Beast than those three? Wow. Insane, Sheen. I get it. Honestly, I do. We have Shallon Shuffle and A for Amazing tier. This tier list sucks. Never mind. Oh, nine. Okay. Okay. Forget. Where's Voyage? It's B. Okay. Okay. We got it. Voyage is in B. Base list. Gerard Fog in B, baby. I don't know why it's in B, but okay. Transit at E. This man would rather play Transit than Knocked B01. I love how it's only Knocked B01, too. Okay. Next up is Blocks Trot or Bloxo Trot. Okay, everything pre-Cold War. No non-Treyarchs, because I haven't played them all. Comedy, and no alternate game modes or remasters. I also rank partly by content, so World at War maps with temporary pap are further behind. Okay. All right, what do we got? We've got, uh, first of all, we've got a watermark down here. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, uh... Oh my god, it's even got a watermark. Treyarch Andy, oh my god. Oh, wrong tier. <laughs> okay on the bottom we have transit for z okay good 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 start already e for odious for alpha omega f for noisome for nuketown bus deep are we making up words at this point nice crash 2 that was actually crash the wrath of cortex i don't want to hear anyone call this crash 2 ever again anyways Crash, Crash Bandicoot, The Rise of Cortex was like a game I grew up with. And my game I grew up with, it was a game I never actually played, but never mind. Anyways, it's like the back rooms. Okay, we have S plus for best songs of all time. Keener to Toten, Black Ops 1. Nice Crash Force run, thank you. We need a Crash stream? No, I'm not good at those games. I grew up with Skylanders, nice. Okay, for S tier for the top five, we have Dryzendrock, 9, Gorod Krovi, Origins, and Mob of the Dead. Very, very good, like, very generic, but very basic. Top, like, eight tier list. We got pretty much the eight most beloved maps up here. And Voyage and B. How could you complain? Okay. Next up, Kara. <laughs> Moon, Descent, and Nine are the best maps of the little kitty. Thank you, Kara. Okay, we have Cygnus with the Fire Emblem Fates profile picture. All right, top three maps. Ancient Evil. Zetsubo, and Blood of the Dead. Okay, okay. Blood of the Dead's S tier. I, okay, cool, cool. For A for excellent, we have Voyage. There we go. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see, chat. We love to see Voyage in A tier. And then for E for boring, we have Shinonuma B01 of all things. Transit, Bus Depot, and Farm. Someone send me my own tier list. Uh huh, yeah, sure. I don't know if anyone's going to top Kara's. Yeah, right. Okay. And then for... We got nine up here, too. Pretty good tier list. Voyage sucks. Um, I don't care. Anyways. Okay, next up we have by Tav. Hey, my tier list. I think I'd be considered crazy for placing, for placing what I placed. All right. For Hatred, we have Exo Outbreak. Okay, understandable. For the F tier, we have five, Noct, Darkest Shore, Varuk, Bust Depot, Alpha Omega, Diner, Noct, Varuk B01, and Shinobu B01. Wow, we're at five. And then in our top tiers, we have Dead of the Night, Forsaken, Tog, and Nuketown. Anyways, <laughs> once again, Treyarch Andy. Hey, have you ever realized that some people don't play every one of these games? Got them. <laughs> Darkest Shore is foul. I mean, hey, man, I can't stop him. <laughs> is this cap hey let the man love the maps that he loves my tier list is based on me playing casually and for higher rounds also it's the maps i've played understandable okay pretty good tier list though where's voyage c it's for okay i love how the b tier has just been completely blipped from reality my favorite nuke toe i did not spell it nuke toe where is it where is it where is it Bro, am I blind? 
I know there's a lot of maps here. Where is it? I spelled Nukto! Come on! I think this happened last time, too. Hoda said this farm two years ago. Yeah, I know. Anyways. <laughs> when you towed the nuke. Yeah, right. Okay. A lobster. I love how yours just says die. <laughs> you. Oh, that's funny. Okay. I love how most of the maps didn't even make it on here. You just like threw together like a random collection of like BO4 World War II maps. And then Kino. <laughs> and then we have... Uh, w tier list. Half the maps are gone. I guess they are. You got it, Nikki G. Okay, next up we have Angelo's. The Archon Sweep. So please don't take this seriously. We found it, guys. Angelo's the Archon. Okay. All right, for I Love, we have Origins and Mauer. I really like, nine. That's all we need to know. Shino Numa Reborn up here. I love this is your own tier list. L, imagine not using my tier list. Okay, pretty good selection though. Where's Voyage? Voyage, yoo -hoo. Where is it? There it is, Voyage. First of all, I've been to let them cook tier. Most people don't do that on my channel. It, guys, it's him. It's the Archon Lover. Half the maps are gone. They all got blipped. I didn't want to put all the maps. I felt lazy. Yeah, okay. Do we send the maps in DMs? Yeah, send them in DMs. Okay, Texas. What do you got, buddy? I think you missed my beast from beyond. Oh, that's Kofi. I'm right there. Okay. This is by Texas. At number one, we have Firebase Z. For amazing, we have Mob, 9, D Machina, Machina Numa, Vanguard, that's a shock. Why is the Archon in B? Why is the Archon better than Origins? Where, where is it? Where is Voyage? Oh my god, where, where is my child? What have you done to him? How dare you? How dare you say the Archon is better than Origins? This... No, this, this can't be. How could you? You've hurt my soul. <laughs> Never played. Well, down the night, you know, you're missing out much. How about this B? All right, Nikki G, what do we got? Fire. It's still not copyrighted. Okay. I love how I just. Ascension, Ascension, BO3, Darker Shore, Raven Nervous, Radioactive Thing, Fire Basic, Shinnu Vanguard, Giant, Jerry's BO1, Jerry's, Shangri-La, Mayday, Awakening, in the mid tier, we then have Outbreak, Cold War, Shinnu Numa, Town, Descent, Shadow Throne, Frozen. Brother, I'm talking like 200 beats per second. Don, Alpha Omega, Buried, or Burrowed, Across the Survival, Shangri-La, BO3, Jadapter K1, Farm, Bust Deep, Nocturne, BO3, Nocturne, Nocturne, BO1, Shinnu BO3, Shinnu Numa, BO1, Exodus, Shadow Shuffle, Into the Storm Survival, Across the Sea, Torture Path, Beneath the Sea. Thank you so much, Nikki G. Stanley dies every yeah, I die after not breathing. Okay, this one's by um, Human Being, who I forget who it is. Okay, so for top five, we have. Play the music again. Thank you, Nikki G. I'm spitting. Shut up. Okay, we have Transit, Nuketown, Diary's Ascent. Okay, I think it's just an inverse of my tier list, probably. E for Awful, Ancient Evil. And then on the bottom, we have for F for Painful. Hey, Voyage isn't on here. Where's Voyage? Voyage, good idea. There we go. That's all we care about. Archon and S tier. Ooh, that's hard to look at. Where do we send the tier list? Hi, Landon. Send them to me in DMs. Join our Discord above. And then um, send them to me in DMs. Okay. Next up, we have Uncle Beans' list. Top fives in no particular order. Okay. We have Mauer, 9, Firebase Z. I'm surprised I'm seeing so much Mauer love. That's crazy. What's on the bottom though? Painful Terramelecta. Haven't played enough to, um, enough to rank, but I remember enjoying them to an extent. Okay. I love how Transit, Voyage, and Final Reich are in the same tier. Alongside Dead Ops Arcade 3. The quality of those is insane. No. No, Angela. Go back to the last tier list. Did they have more than five? 
They had a little more than five. They had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. 33. It's a little more than five. Man, so it's how much Mauer love we're seeing. And then, um, <laughs> those are the archives in D. Top five, apparently, though. Okay, Cam, what do you got? Really love Origins and Rev. And then all the way at the bottom, we have Voyage. How dare you, first of all. I love how Newtown's... First of all, this isn't even my tier list. This is some other schmuckos tier list. This tier list, if you didn't use my tier list, not good. Not good at all. Also, sorry, you're right. D Discord's in the description. Sorry. <laughs> watermark tier. You guys, if you have a watermark tier, let me know. Haven't played enough. Play some more Mauer. <laughs> why they hate Outbreak? Who knows? Cam, why do you hate Outbreak? Oh, I see. Okay, Uncle Bean's cool. <laughs> Voyage's top five negative. Yeah, right. Okay, here's um, Cheese's tier list. We have Dead of the Night and apparently also the Tortured Path. And then the rest of it is just not Dead of the Night. I don't know why your photo has this weird rock filter on it, but cool, pal. Okay, from Puffins. Hi, Puffins. Okay, this is from Lemon, or as we like to call him, Mark. He's one of our mods. Okay, Mark said he won't rank favorites, but although at the top is BO2 Farm and BO2 Origins. Unperfect, we have Zombie Chronicles, Origins, Near Perfect, Shadows, Tog, Firebase Z, and Call of the Dead. For good, we have Town. Ba okay, I'm just gonna go to the bottom. Bad Experiences. Wasn't five up here? Am I crazy? No, I'm crazy. Okay. We have five. Blood of the Dead and Ascension. And then Unnecessary Master. Mark, you hate classified? How dare you? First of all. Not one of my mods. That's what a farm enjoyer would say. <laughs> Ancient Evil. Let's go. Vo oh, there's Voyage. We love Voyage. Okay. Okay, Lando. All right, for the top five, we have Tog, DE, Ancient Evil, Firebase C, and Nine. Okay, about what we expected. Okay, first of all, we love seeing Voyage in great tier. But second of all, at the bottom, we have Diarize, Transit, Grossen House, Nuketown, Bus Depot, Descent, Beast from Beyond, and Infection. You know, that's about as much of a sane bottom tier as I've ever seen. <laughs> Base top five. Dude, fire based top five. Also, I love how you removed the watermark too. <laughs> oh my god, he even removed the watermark. Okay, here we have Nikki G's old tier list. We have Gorod in Ancient Evil on the S tier. We have Alpha Omega in Outbreak in A tier. And at the bottom, we have Rucked, Knocked, and Ascension. And Voyage is in C tier. Not one of my mods. Then we have the Hooded Gamer. All right, Hooded, what do you got? One of my favorite mods. What do we got, buddy? Buried, Shadows, DE, Firebased, and Nightfall. Okay, okay, Hooded. We then have Mob, Moon, BO3, Origins. Origins, BO3, Talk, Final Right, Gross and House, Dead of the Night. I'm surprised you didn't put Dead of the Night in the top tier. Mauer, Forsaken, and Call of the Dead. Okay, what's that bottom? On the bottom tier, we have Transit, Die Rise, Most of Tortured Path, Diner, Outbreak, Infection, Descent, I forgot, I hate Exo Zombies, Beast from Beyond, Dead Ops 2, Tortured Path, Shadow Throne, Terramalicta, and Dead Ops 1. Okay. And Archon. I love how Archon is above, um, Carrier. Okay. And finally, Pangu's tier list. What is it with Nightfall? Nightfall's a lot of fun. <laughs> Boomer tier list. Okay, Pangu's got Descent Carrier, Zombies in Spaceland, and Rave. That right there might be the most contentious um, S tier I've seen yet. Not a single Treyarch map in S tier. That's crazy. Then for Amazing, we have Shang, Mob, Classified, and Ancient Evil. Okay, there are some real ones. Okay. 
We have Voyage in D tier. Brings a tear to my eye. And at the bottom, we have Infection, Beast, and Outbreak from Cold War. Top five only has four. Nobody knows how to count. Not everyone has a top five. Okay, we have a slight edit. Wow, it's even more unreadable. Well, wow. ladies and gentlemen of the chat, I do appreciate everyone for watching. Thank you all for coming out to another amazing Call of Duty Zombies live stream. Let me just back that out. There we go. We got we got the full d done list for a third time because you can't keep. You know, sometimes you just got you gotta keep reading your favorites. You know, for example. I used to love Origins and Shadows. Now Mauer is like number four on the list. How did it sneak up there? Who knows? We should do a zombie YouTubers tier list that would require me to watch zombie YouTubers. Anyways, I'm genuinely shocked that about most of, like about 50 people stayed the entire stream. That's insane to me. And there's still 40 people here. So, um, thank you everyone for watching. I really do appreciate it. I love how, like, the stream is behind on my point of view. It's not live. So, anyways, I'm very happy that you all enjoyed it. Can you put the Raven? Of course. To pet the Raven. Nevermore. Gonna draw more funny art. Thanks for the entertainment. Of course. Now... Y'all have a good night. I'll see you on Thursday. And remember, keep on slaying. Y'all have a good night.